Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Baltic Track Mania League. I am Boney, and with me together again, my host, co-host, is Quantum Defcat. How are you doing, man? I am uh, doing well. You, 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 good morning to you. Uh, good morning to everyone. It's a wonderful seven in the morning currently. Uh <laughs> what are you talking about? It's it's one. Or is it Actually, two? no, it's Wait. two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, man. What a week it has been in not, not just in terms of uh, of, of me personally, right? But Trackvania in itself, we got the new campaign, we got everything else that's uh, been coming out. We got a new map for mm -hmm. this Baltic Trackmania League. Wait, uh, we uh, well, screen. day, yes. So the map made by SRK, I forget its name, but it did get removed. Uh, chosen I, by the players. I, I don't have the uh, TTS on hand at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the uh, exceedingly long map name. And uh, yeah, no, most players simply banned the track. Uh, and uh, therefore, it has been replaced with a new track called Vingus uh, from uh, Richard E. And from uh, what it looks like, it actually looks very, very good, right? Yes, I mean, we don't have it on screen right now. We just have the, the screenshot, but it is a uh, track with uh, a lot of magnets. I'd say uh, it's, it's magnets. It's um, one of those tracks that likes to go... Um, like back and forth it, it feels like one of those you've got a magnet slalom section going on there's a lot of speed there's a slide to finish off the track um it's uh definitely a, a good one well we'll get to uh, really looking into it once we uh, we have it on screen usually these things are kind of hard to really get get through abstractly right like i, I can right. a picture to a certain extent um but i you know like that won't get the blocks placed in the way you want them in your head uh, but no Would i uh, played a played a bit myself as well a very very enjoyable map i'm very curious to see how uh how the players do like i felt like i had a good run with a 47 but people are driving 45 so yeah <laughs> that says a lot I mean, about what we can expect You've done multiple 47.8, so yeah. you, you're, you seem to be pretty uh, n n consistent at that speed, right? You, you seem to, not have plateaued, but like, uh, you, you know your way around the map yeah. good enough to be able to get that time, right? Maybe you could save a few tenths, but you're, you're pretty close to, your, to, to having maxed out your potential on that map. I'd say so, I'd say so. Uh, but, uh, we have our bounds, by the way. Is... We do. Wait, we're jumping to loophole. Sweet. Let's go loophole. We found loophole. Let's go loophole. I'm excited. Oh man. Uh, but no, loophole ban. Loophole, our favorite RPG map of the map pool, uh, is unfortunately out. We see it real quick right now. Look at that. Mm, oh my uh, goodness. I mean, Zulus's map, while it be looking like like an RPG map, was such a gimmicky map too, right? It really is a very gimmicky map uh, when it comes to what you need to do. I, I called it a memory map, right? Because you need to remember exactly what to do at each corner because you need to, <laughs> let's say, like the bonk, right? There's an intentional bonk in this map. Well, which, yes. uh, right? And you, you have to remember, okay, well, between which building do I bonk, right? It doesn't explicitly tell you. It doesn't explicitly tell you where to go either. There's... Um, a few bugs, I would say, right? Like uh, dropping in through the water at the end. You can yeah, bonk yeah, your it's head. It's a bit of a hidden one, bit of a hidden one, definitely. Uh, but yeah, as you say, like there's uh, definitely your bonk potentials. Uh, and the ice as well, right? Like you want to get the jump right. into that finish line, and that finish line can, can be a bit hard. can be a bit hard to hit. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a bit inconsistent. That, that's the, that's the name I would give it. Inconsistent, right. and I mean it's it's really hard to get consistent at an inconsistent map, and it makes sense. And in the first week, I mean, if if you're really good at it, why would you ban it, right? You you would be hard pressed to find anyone who uh, explicitly liked the map, but it was still better, I would say, than uh, SRK's exceedingly long name. Well, because. <laughs> It's not that the map was bad, it's that the map was hard, right? Zulus's map is inconsistent, map. but doable, yeah, right? Yeah, but SRK's map was, was difficult and hard to learn, so 
I guess the players decided to, to just say, screw it, we want the inconsistent map over the hard to learn map. We'll try and learn it, but uh, I, I don't see how this map continues in this map pool uh, for very long, unless we see the new map with the, the magnets start bugging out, we see people flying out like uh, airplanes. Yeah, it, it definitely is, you know, like what the players like, what the players want to see. Um, right now, game is starting up. We, we are flying through the warm-up. Players are ready. And we're starting off things on Scary Fucus right now. Same format as last week. We got four maps, five rounds for each of those maps, and the players are trying to get as many points as they can. We do have an absentee hero, so unfortunately is not able to participate in the match right now. Uh, but yeah, no, these are your players for Group B. We've got Kawi, we've got Zink, we've got Dani, we've got Vis, and we have Cervantes, who recently joined Wisp team. And Kawi on the flip out, but he stays on. He actually that. stays on the track. That was, that was very, kind very of close. <laughs> oh my word. Also, some uh, more technical things. You might notice the interface isn't the way it was last week we had some issues uh, with the new map uh, it's not uh, correctly verified or something uh, and due to that we can't see the rankings as easily as we did before i think that's all of the yeah all of the things that have been going on outside of the game itself but no we're kicking uh -huh. things off with feast but uh you got some data on like numbers for me like which of these players are looking like the favorites on scary puke it, it, for sure, Kawi is scary. He just, just, just returned, but within a week, uh, he's shown that he's very, very consistent on these maps already. And he's shown that uh, while consistency is key, right, if you can always hit your time, but if your time is slow, uh, it's it's not going to be too good for you. But, oh my goodness, on this map, Kawi is so fast at the beginning, and it shows right here that mm. he is really fast at the beginning he just can't do that that um that uh, dirt jump right at the end there uh, right in the middle there where uh, well unfortunately he punked um Kawi is very good at this map though and if he can get through that jump unscathed uh he will make a time that uh, will make everyone's jaw drop and despite the fact that he bonked he still comes first he does. Ooh, Danik actually, like, I expected Danik to come in second there, but Zink actually with the snipe right there, unfortunately missed it as Kawi just, like, so much speed going past. I guess Danik just was not able to recover from that small hiccup that he had at the end. But yeah, uh, I mean, Scary Pukas, I do feel, um, is, is one of those tracks that, um, the, the mainstay, right, is that, that, that Porta Pipe jump. It's where we see most uh, of the mistakes happen, really. Like, there's a lot of grass going on. We've got this ice, uh, sorry, ice, this grass uh, road right here where you want to make sure you keep your footing right. You can see all the players doing a tremendous job doing so. They're probably losing a bit of speed, but it's really this jump. This jump right here, it's all about approaching. You might hit the top right there. You might not jump high enough and not land into it. There's a lot in the... Uh, just mess mess up your run very much so but it's a very um very varied uh placements right now right uh right now zinc in first place uh looking to nab another eight points for himself uh before that we had uh kawi doing the same and then before that we had vis getting the number one spot so far no one really leading the charge right so very no uh, very uh, no. um, divided. <laughs> right, it's it's very inconsistent. That, that's another thing about this map, uh, uh, Scary Pucus, is, well, especially that, that jump, right? It's yeah. it's that dirt jump up into the air onto the grass quarter pipe that really makes everything so hard because it's all about the angle and the speed, right? If you don't have the angle, you're hitting the edge. If you don't have the speed, you're not making it up. So... It's very, very tough uh, uh, as a part goes, right? Uh, if if anything, that's that's the identity of the map, right? I, oh yeah, yeah. I, I hate bringing that in, but <laughs> it's it's it definitely is. And you can see Dynek here; he's not going to make that. He's too low, right? He didn't have the height, but he was also going to hit 
on the side. So not only did he not have the height, but he didn't have the angle. It's a uh, it's a bit of a weird one, right? I've been playing around with that one myself, and it's you you would assume, all right, I'll try to go a bit wide, and that means if you go too wide, you'll go low. And you're like, all right, I'll try to go a bit tighter, and if you go <laughs> tight, you just go too high. It is a very much it, it doesn't look like it, but it is a bit of a treading the needle situation going on. The needle, like the eye of the needle, is pretty big in that sense, but yeah, like just just. Judging it a bit, bit oddly, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll just cause you to not make it. There is a safe route to the left, um, if you, uh, by all means just aren't able to make it, but obviously safe route is slower, so. Uh, slower by, like, seven seconds, I do believe. It's, it's tough. Um, it's tough. But you'll be able to finish. Howie was a really good time, as well. I don't know if you saw that. A 43-4. Uh, very, very solid as... Ooh, ooh who fell out out. there? Oh, Zink he does Zink. fall out. That... And Zinc is now in first. That's great to see. Uh, too bad for Kaui and his Counter-Strike skin. That is unfortunate indeed. Danik falling oh. out as well. This checkpoint is a bit of a tough one. If your angle is not right on that checkpoint, you will end up in a bit of a, you know, like, respawn loop. <laughs> I have found myself. Like, if you go a bit too much in the inside, you won't get the drop in just right. Um, and as you can see on the outside, you just fly out. Some great times coming out from Zinc. Zinc was driving a 43.7. That 53.7 even. That's faster than his previous round, which is great. Kawi does finish, gets a nice two points. But it looks like it's become a bit of a fight between Kawi and Zinc at this point. Look at that. Uh, I... Do you want to say though that Zinc three rounds in a row has done a 53 time, and that's going to end that map there? That is some great times for Zinc. He got it down consistent. He wasn't the fastest, but he was the most consistent, and that allowed him to be uh, tied for first place going into the second map here. Mm. I mean, right now, uh, 30 points each. In general, you know, being able to get a maximum of 40 points. Uh, getting those 30 on two players, it's it's looking pretty good. I mean, uh, it's, it's something uh, looking like a fight between first and second right now. Cervantes is not looking too well with 14 points. Uh, and Danik 16, just two away. So uh, they do have a fight ahead. We are on intertwined map number two. And it's, uh, as the map name suggests, it is a bit of an intertwined map as we are following Kawi driving through the track you can see there's a lot of ups and downs and driving in between blocks that you have driven before skipping this checkpoint to the right going down chip skipping another checkpoint to the right here as well only to get into this long right hand turn and jumping into the finish and as uh <laughs> as pretty might tell you don't 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 stare all right just don't stare you'll, you'll mess up don't stare well, that's, I mean, as the, the map maker, he knows best, right? As we go best. into the round here. Uh, I do want to say, though, that I'm surprised at how Critty made this without there uh, being a, a reroute that is faster. And that's because of all the walls that are up on the, on the sides of the track, right? They absolutely stop you from uh, cutting into other checkpoints. And he, he created this map so, so smartly uh, when he did. And it allows us to have some good racing like this, uh, and uh, no one rerouting to another route that's two seconds faster. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely, when, like these these ball of yarn maps, to call them that. Yeah, it's very simple to just find this one little, uh, oh, I can just drop down here, and it's way faster. There's, there's nothing of the sort found so far, and I don't know, from what I can tell, I don't think that's gonna, gonna happen either. Kawi, though, commanding his lead right now, taking first place definitively with Sync picking up the number two spot. I mean, there is quite a lot of time between the two right now, but I I mean, it's just round one. I don't think Zinc, uh, you know, needs to worry too much. Dro driving a fine round, all of them, honestly. Nobody making any major mistakes. So after last week, you can agree, right, that uh, the, the players... I would say that really you need to look out for is Kawi and Zinc, right? Uh, last week, Kawi showed that he was the seventh fastest player despite the fact that he hadn't played in so long. After one more week of playing, 
obviously, you'd think that he's able to get himself up into Group A, and if he uh, wins or gets second place even, I'm sure that he can actually make it because he is currently in seventh place and only one point behind both SRK and Oris. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, in terms of, like, how points go, it's, it's always a bit of a the tricky one, uh, as we are looking at a very close fight between Sink and Kaui. Sink almost overtaking there, in fact. Um, it's, uh, the point system, right, I, I like to refer to the, uh, what is it? <laughs> the, the master sheet, because uh, there's a lot of situations that can occur depending on where people place. Um, all right, Donnie does finish. I was about to say, come on. Bring it home. There you go. <laughs> bring it home. Thank you. Thank no, 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 no. Not that bring it home. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the, That's the night. No, 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 no. Italy wins tonight, right? <laughs> this, I, I agree. Um, <laughs> but no no uh, one's bringing it home. <laughs> the, the master sheet, I feel, is definitely uh, one to keep an eye out on. If you're not in the Discord, do join the Discord uh, so you can check it all out. You can theorize what might happen in terms of who gets into what group as well because... Yeah, it's all dependent on how many points you have at the end of the round. And we are currently in round number three, as we do have someone crashing out. Who was that? That was Vis. Vis crashing out in the corner, taking it a bit too much on the inside, too much of a risk. I would have to say bye-bye to his number three spot and just hang out in fifth, two and a half seconds behind on first place being Kavi right now. He's doing a tremendous job keeping up his lead. See if he makes any mistakes as Zing tries to overtake, but they're just like equal in speed. I don't think he's going to be able would to say. overtake. Look at that. No, I don't think he'll be able to overtake unless he messed up the finish there. Uh, Kaui, last map, was a very strong. He was faster than Zing, but less consistent. And that's what allowed Zing to really get himself in there. But on this map, Kaui is a lot more consistent, and Zink is just slightly slower, right? Just a few tenths yeah. slower each round, and it's allowing Kaui to build a little bit of this lead, right? If Zink makes a mistake here, it could completely uh, undo everything he's done these last nine rounds, right? And, I mean, Kaui is just going to run away with it if, if Zink isn't there to stop him, because uh, the other ones in, in this map pool, like... Uh, like Servant, uh, Viz, and uh, Cervantes, Viz, they, they, they aren't exactly up to the task, I think, of beating Kawi unless uh, he really makes a massive mistake, right? I don't think right, either yeah. of them will, will have an absolute pop-off to be able to, to, to surpass Kawi, right? I Maybe Zinc, but not Kawi. Yeah, something crazy would have to happen. Uh, somehow Kawi just doesn't have... Uh his uh, groove in the next two maps or something and people are able to overtake due to that i i i you know he like it's finished. one of those things would be interesting but at the same time i highly doubt it as well kavi right now showing a dominating performance on uh, on intertwined i mean we've had four rounds and four rounds of kavi winning i i think he's going for the full 40. now i did say that i did say v's and and uh, Cervantes would be the ones that uh, that wouldn't really that would surprise me if they beat uh, him on this map, but not Danikt. Danikt is is very special on this map because he's actually pretty fast. He's just inconsistent, right? His best time is actually up there. It's just that he's not fast enough to to do it consistently. Also, it's Danik with the CS:GO skin, not Kawi. I, uh, I very mixed skin, those honestly. guys up. I really like it's uh, it. full of CSGO stickers, so yeah. yeah, actually really, really nice. I like it. Ooh, this is a bit of a close round five, the last round on the map. Uh, we'll be moving on to the next one after this. Not sure which one it'll be, but again, just look at Kaui. He's just doing a fantastic job. Like, I like to keep this bird's eye view on him to make sure we, uh, we see what's going on. <laughs> but he hits the side of the, what is it, the, the wall there, the wall on the left, Zinc able to take away these perfect round, round, <gasps> Kaui, Kaui, what are you doing, Kaui, Kaui, Danny, what are you doing, Danny, Danny, what are you doing, what, what is he doing, what is going on, what is this little W moment, <laughs> what, oh, what happened, no. we jinxed it, no perfect fifth party, no, no, I'm sorry, oh I'm man, sorry. but you know what's the worst part is that he still came in second, Despite being six How? seconds lower. How? Everybody <laughs> was so close to each other as we went into that final section, and then people just started dropping like flies. I. Oh my goodness. Wow. They, they're, I don't know what Zinc did. He just threw a banana peel, right? T towards. Towards. 
<laughs> towards nope, Cowie. Yeah. Cowie slipped on it, right? Blue he shell slowed came down. In. And then and then he threw like three bananas behind him and everyone slowed down tremendously, right? And yeah. and, and then there was a, a a blue shell that hit that, that someone threw behind that Got somehow still hit Cowie even though he was in second now. You know, everything. Oh, but we're on yeah. the new map. We're yeah, on the we're new, on map, the new map. So this right here, new map, Vingus from Richardy. And uh, yeah, no, this is, as I said, a lot of a, a bit of a back and forth map, I like to call it, right? You, you're swooping left and right and left and right. And the main thing that allows you to do this are these magnets right here. We got a couple of these magnets. We've got a slalom section right here where you want to make sure you Keep your wheels without sliding out. They just saw Kawi having a bit of an issue with that right now. And ends up in this long 180 ice slide. Oh, uh, which is wow. a bit tricky, honestly. Look at that, 46.8. See, and I'm happy with driving 47s. And Kawi made mistakes. We saw that. And he still drives a 46. I mean, it's, uh, it's, a, tough, it's a tough track. Like, already the start itself, right? You've got this uphill. As we go into round number one... Um, I'll, we'll try to talk you a bit more through it. You got this run up right here. You want to stay close to the wall and at the same time, try not to lose too much speed. That alone, that section right there, can cost you like half a second. Easy. If you mess it up. Like, I, just half or a second more. on. And, and it, it will hurt a lot. We got that, uh, what is it? Uh, the Magneto section into that 180 turn again. Uh, there's a lot of blocks in this one. Oh, look at Kawi using the speed slides, building up more speed. Let's see if he's able to get through the slalom as Zinc just zoops on by and shows us how it is done. Naving the first spot from Kawi. And uh, in fact, not even in first place anymore. He is all the way in fourth at the moment as V Cervantes and Danik are uh, coming in as well. Zink and Vs very close to each other. We got some 47s coming in from the two players. Avant is picking him the third. Danik! Does he get Eight. in? Come on, get Danik. the wheel up! Get the wheel up! Get the wheel up! Let's get okay, okay, Can't okay. It. It's fine, it's fine. Oh no. <laughs> Door stuck! Uh, Does he still get in? Alright, he's Door stuck! <laughs> uh, the Counter Strike reference. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Kawi did get fourth eventually. Like it's unfortunate that he clipped there at the end, because uh, his speed was great, right? He was doing a fantastic job. But uh, yeah, it's um, you gotta get. That's what speed happens tech. on this map. You need some speed tech, because this is a fast map, right? There's uh, not a lot of tight corners or whatnot. It's all about building up speed as you go through these corners. Kawi taking a wide line right now as Zing goes in a bit uh, narrower different attacks but all the players relatively close like even with the car lengths in between them right there's multiple car lengths going on it's still pretty dang close let's see if Kawi does a fantastic job right now look at that 609 does get a bit of a slide but manages to recover just fine into the ice section he goes let's get a back angle he goes through V's in second place right now good slide he's had a bit of a better slide at the end but not enough to overtake Kawi right there Sing picking up the number three spot 47 oh and uh, Danny Cervantes rounding it out. I could see these winning a few rounds here if he gets lucky, or if he, or if Cowie makes a, a another mistake while having a wide line there, because V's does actually have a fast time on this map as well. But uh, it's all about the start, and if he can keep up at the start with him, because right now yeah. he's already three tenths behind, right? So if yeah. you could keep up with Cowie at the start, I have no doubt in my mind that he could win rounds against Cowie here. But Cowie is, after one more week of practice, I, I am 100% confident in saying that he will uh, stay in Group A once he gets in it. Ooh, I like the approach of Beast right there, going a bit lower <laughs> to build up more speed. And he did build up more speed, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, that slalom section below those grass blocks right there, uh, yeah, that can go a bit wrong as Kawi slides out and Sings picks up the number one spot. <laughs> Danik in second place. Kawi, are you getting in? Come on. Now, uh, Vs takes number three. Kawi in fourth. <laughs> yeah, that ice slide is tough because you're going into that ice slide with a lot of speed, right? Again, you're building up all this speed throughout the track and only to get to this, uh, what is it? This, uh, 180, uh, quarter pipe, uh, going down. You got some penalty dirt going on, and then ice. The only thing really slowing you down is that penalty dirt, and you gotta go into that ice slide with about like 400 or something. <laughs> wow. Like, ice slide at 400? 
Uh, yeah, no, you gotta be good. You, you gotta be You solid. gotta be good. Yeah. Did you see that beginning by Cowie there? That is sick. One, solid. two, we actually have two ties currently. It's, uh, it's two ties indeed. I mean, it's half of the points between four and five and one and two right now. And yeah, think that four and five up. could be a big difference. Could Ooh. be a big difference maker. Let's see, Cowie's still staying in. We lost a bit of side right there as we're following Zink and Feast right in front of us. Let's see the ice slide. Does anybody slide out or do they make it in? Cowie would have... Ooh! <laughs> he messed up his slide a bit, lost time, but Zink was not able to recover from that. He was able to overtake Feast there. Everyone within one tenth there. The top three. That was a sick round. Oh my! Uh, poor V's getting sniped at the end by Zinc, that and Zinc almost it. getting Cowie too. Oh my word! And V's pushes remaining. away from uh, the bottom four. He's pushing away from uh, the those two at the bottom, and he's kind of in a no man's land, right? So unless yeah. he's really bad at this last map, uh, I I don't think. Uh, he will fall down to the fourth position or even the fifth. I think he stays in third. There's yeah. no way he catches up to second. No. Right? No. I'm sorry to say. Um, but uh, yeah, Zink, I think he's got that. Yeah, it's it's really uh, at the top of five between Kawi and Zink at the moment. And uh, obviously at the bottom, it's more about uh, making sure you don't find yourself in a, a delegation position. Ooh, V's, Ooh, V's. going very wide. That is uh, tough. Like, those are points. Like, he needs those points still, right? Even though the gap is relatively big, he needs those points. Zink a bit uh, too narrow on his uh, turn right there. If you go too wide, you can hit the uh, blocks at the top. But as you can see, too narrow just makes you go uh, hoop down the rabbit hole. So it's uh, definitely a tough one for Zink not being able to pick up at least second right there as Kavi builds up uh, this gap, right? He already had a gap. Uh, going into this map, then as, you know, like, he, he made some mistakes here and there, Zing was able to catch up, but we just end up with Kali again in the lead. Seven points in the lead, in fact. It, it just feels like uh, in the in the first map, it was Kali that was inconsistent. On this map, it was more Zink, but Zink was also not as fast, it feels. Uh, mm -hmm. The ending the ice, right, is always going to be the nemesis of Kali, and this map, I do believe, has some ice. And that's going to be the the hardest point, right? Masculine is going to be the hard point here for Kawi to keep, right? And I think this yeah. is probably the map where he practiced the most. Why? Because of the ice turn. That ice turn was definitely... Is there an ice turn on this map? I'm pretty sure there is, right? Was this the map with the ice turn? No, it isn't. No, it so. isn't. No, it, no. Was map. Yeah, it was SRK's map. It was SRK's map. map. The SRK's map. Yeah, that was the wrong. map where you start off on ice and you slide uh, out. We, like on the SRK map, we usually saw people uh, after those ice slides. Um, you had the bit of the balance beam section going on, and that's where people usually uh, went down. And then after that, yeah, you had a lot of the, the ice, the 180 ice. You had the um, checkpoints uh, where you just had to touch. So you can drive back. And after that, you just finish, really. But no, uh, Masculini is uh, one of those uh, maps uh, which uh, has a few magnet blocks, as you uh, saw already happening uh, before. Uh, there is a magnet where you 180, hit a booster, and then drive forward. Uh, but the transitions are what make this map, right? There's, uh, there's some transitions around this one that can uh, lead to some uh, funky situations, which led to some bans happening previous week. But right now, it doesn't look like people wanted to ban this one instead of deciding we don't want RPG. But we are alive. We are going as Kawi and Zink right now are fighting for first place. I'm very curious if yeah. he's going to be able to recover this uh, small gap. It's a small point gap. And uh, it should be definitely uh, possible to do so. It's seven points, but if he makes a mistake like that, it's going to, to really be costly. Especially if Kawi wins this round, it'll be nine points with four rounds left. He'll need Kawi to make a massive mistake and come yeah. in the last. I mean, right, right? now, right. I mean, look or at those least. checkpoints, though. Yeah, Two he's seconds. extremely good. Two and a half he seconds. Is... <laughs> <laughs> Kawi running away with it. Zink does take number two, but Kawi just decided, nah, you know what? You losers can stay all the way in the back. I'm going. Backseat for you guys, no one shotgun, right? It's instead of three uh, seats in the back and one person 
to the side in the car, there's uh, there's all four of them in the back. There you go, no one's shotgun. And uh, he will be driving in the front alone. Yeah, just extending his lead right now. I mean, considering uh, we've got four rounds remaining as Beast Ooh. crashes out, we already have one player out of it, our number three spot right now. Uh, and Danik not doing a too well of a job. Kawi also out of there. I totally missed that. So Zink has a way to uh, maybe get some points back as uh, Kawi at the moment is driving in, what is it, fourth spot? I don't even see him ha show up in the checkpoints. Zink's too fast. Let's see, where is Kawi right now? He is in fifth place, fighting it out with Vs right now for number three as Vs goes in Vs. a bit. <laughs> Tax it not in the way you want to attack that corner. Uh, Cervantes oh. actually overtaking Zink. This is not what Zink wants to see, right? Cervantes is in no way, shape, or form competing for this number one spot, but Zink needs eight points. Is he gonna get it? Is it gonna happen? He does. He does yes. get the eight points he desperately needs as Kawi actually fought his way back to number three. Uh, Donnie, can, that is... uh, Feast just not uh, having <laughs> a great time on this one. So Cervantes, I do believe, has uh, cemented his third place. He is now um, exactly uh, uh, cemented his fourth place. Sorry, Viz has cemented his third place. Um, Zinc catching up just a little bit. This is what he needed, but this is actually kind of critical for Kawi as well, who finished in in third place right he could have finished in yeah. fifth this round uh, th 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 that round and that would have been very detrimental because zinc is not slow on this map at all and he shows it right here as he's in first place actually but just behind him is kawi yeah it's uh i mean we we haven't seen zinc drive the fastest time right like kawi driving at 56 at this point is by miles the fastest time we've seen today um so, ooh, Zink. hopefully Zink will do well. Though <gasps> Kawi as well. No, going a bit too deep. Front tire into the barrier. He does <gasps> it again. Kawi. Vis and Cervantes both overtaking as Zink as well. Just not having a great run. Oh, it's all going to come down to the end. They're not getting number one and two. That's Vis and Cervantes right now. But Zink and Kawi, still Kawi in first. Oh, Just one point no. between the two. What was that? Oof. What a keck W round. I guess nerves just got to them or something. I'm not sure what was happening right there, but this isn't even that bad for Kali, right? There is a six point gap. Something insane has to happen right now. Kali can probably save at this point with two rounds remaining and still be able to get into first place. Now, I wouldn't recommend it, but there, there's room, right? There is definitely room. Looking at uh, the rest of the players, Feast and uh, Danik not doing uh, too well either with Cervantes. You know, like, he seems to be a bit more consistent on this one. Um, he just needs to than make anyone sure he else, stays yeah. ahead. Kawi can just get some third places and they'll be okay. They'll, there's always the risk that Zink picks up these, you know, like, two first places. Though, at the moment, we do have a fight very close to two players. Kawi and Zink. Zink Ooh. goes a bit out on the sausage block, relegating his first place to Kawi right now. Let's see if no other crashes will happen and Kawi just holds on, or if Zink might get a bit lucky, because luck is what he needs. Not the best landing. Beast overtakes a third place instead of second. That is the kill shot right there. There is... Is it over? No, yeah, there's simply no yeah, way. It's over. It, the only way uh, Zing could uh, redeem to some extent, and even then, I'm pretty sure we get into a tiebreaker section, uh, situation where Kawi would win, is if Zink gets into first and Kawi does not finish at all. No, not even. It's nope. 10 points. Nope. It's 10 points. Yeah, it's no, 10 we're points. already out. We're already out. And at this point, yeah, no, these are the standings. Uh, nothing can happen. Regardless of what happens, regardless of who drives how, these are your standings. We will have Kawi in first, Sink in second, Vis in third, Cervantes in fourth, and Dani in fifth place. So this one is uh, for uh, a spec and bonus, as we uh, like to say in uh, the Netherlands, which is uh, just, you know, just for fun, really. There's no... Uh... Right, just, uh, well, I, I don't want to say it because, uh, well, we're not getting paid, but uh, we, we'd like to keep the monetization on this channel, right? So I'm not going to say it. Um, but you have to imagine that Zinc will get himself up into uh, Group A if Oris has a very, very, very bad time. He is currently in ninth with 11 points, and Oris is at 13. But Kawi for sure is in Group A, and I think he's going to push Oris out. And I don't know if Zinc 
uh, will put, uh, get in front of either Caspa or SRK if they do very badly in Group A. We will see because we we don't know yet, right? We just don't know. But uh, at, at worst, Zinc is going to be in seventh place, which, which will uh, leave him in Group B. We'll, but we'll he he has a yeah. chance to go into Group A afterwards. Yeah, it all depends on what's uh, going on. Like these are things like yeah. This is where the theory crafting comes in, right? Where you figure out who gets what points. Also, great time from Kaui, right? Dad driving a 56.0. Solid. And, I mean, I, I definitely uh, feel like he is the one, uh, yeah, that, that won it fair and square. Um, but no, like, in terms of, yeah, who gets into what group, we'll figure it out. We, we still have group A and D coming up uh, in about 10 minutes. Um, where, you know, we'll get the full picture right now. We have had Group B. Group C was played simultaneously. I'm not sure if we already have the results coming in for that one. Let me just double, triple, quadruple check to see whether or not we do. Uh, we got no results right now. Group B is being updated. Again, if you want to be curious about what is going on, what the rankings are at the moment, who's playing and whatnot, uh, check out the Discord and you will find all the information in there. It will be in the uh, BTL Summer 2021 info channel in case you're uh, you're curious. But no, that is a uh, sweet eight points for Kawi added. So that puts him at 20 points in total. Uh, Cervantes, uh, 16 points, 17, um, Feast 15, and Donnie 13 points. Now, this is in the overall standing. Um, and that overall standing will determine whether or not you get into the playoffs, which will be uh, happening next week. Right, as uh, they, they'll they keep playing up until they get themselves, well, up into the playoffs, right? Uh, last time I did BTL, the playoffs was after the sixth week, I do believe. So there were six weeks of play. But uh, what is oh, it? Sorry. Everyone... I just hmm? realized. Yeah, no, uh, you're totally right. Next week is CRT. I, t I, I was, like, thinking... Wait, there was something going on next week. ZRT is next. It's a week after. <coughs> Apologies. Apologies. Uh, you're funny. You're funny. Can't get it uh, right all the time. <laughs> nah. Uh, unless you're me, right? Quantum Death Cat's true. never been wrong in his life, man. It's that's true. That is very never. Very true. I've never ever been wrong. Pr <laughs> sure. <he is>. sure. <laughs> 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 whatever you say, whatever you say. But I mean, in terms of the race that we saw just now, I felt like that was a great race. And uh, I, Kavi at 20 points right now in overall standings. I'm, yeah, I'm positive he'll, he'll come back into Group A. And I guess the next question really is who will be going out of Group A? Because that will be the next match we'll be checking out. They'll be happening in about eight minutes. So we'll probably kick it off just a bit earlier. So we have some time to introduce the players and whatnot to you. Uh, so stick around. Don't go anywhere, and if you do go anywhere, just, you know, like, be sure to come back. We're, we're here for you. We got some good Trackmania coming up. We got three more matches happening today. So, see you guys in just a little bit.
everyone, welcome back to the Baltic Baltic Track Mania League. I am Boney. With me again is Quantum Devcat. You still with us, man? You got your granola? I I got my granola bar. I got some water. Uh, you, you heard me playing with the rapper before, right? It was annoying, mm -hmm. I bet. Um, Very. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it now because it, <laughs> you, you're, you'd be surprised how loud wrapping paper is when you just play with it in your hands. Mm. <laughs> Next to the microphone, it gets really loud. Um, so I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that. But you know what we will be doing is figuring out which map is banned because there are three different maps that people want to ban. Uh, there are. I mean, we've seen, uh, yeah, uh, Masculine, uh, Pucus, uh, Scary pu Pucus, Puke, yeah. And Vingus. Uh, but it's it's Masculine, uh, which will be banned. We will be seeing the map once again. We won't see the finished track showing up today. Uh, we also have a uh, player who uh, uh, we don't know exactly why, um, but not here is Aris. Aris is not in the match right now. So we will be having uh, five players coming in for you. We've got Bitsy, we've got SRK, we've got Jingyo, uh, we've got Kriti and Kaspa. I think I have everyone. Did I miss anyone? Or double? Stage? I think you have everyone. Yeah, sweet. We'll just get um, things sorted out, ready, and reset. And we're kicking things off on, uh, what is this, Pukus? No, this, wait, this is, oh yeah, Muscaline, we need to skip. I was about to say, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> Let's see where we, uh, where, where uh, the randomizer will bring us first, and then we can talk about what to expect, I'd say. Loophole. I do like Zelda randomizers. <laughs> yes, Zelda randomizers are great. They are, definitely. I mean, uh, you got some intel for me on this track? I do have a bit of intel, and I mean, it's not going to be looking good for Davinio, uh, according to the statistics here. Uh, let's go from bottom to top. Davinio, um, he's currently in fourth place in terms of points with 16, uh, I, I do believe, and he got himself up into uh, third place, sorry, uh, with 16 points. In uh, second place is Critty with 18, and in first is Bitsy. Uh, before obviously Group B and C played, and uh, you, you have yourself quite the matchup here. But Davinio, he's not looking like uh, he, he's in a bit of trouble. I would say he was lucky with his draws last week uh, versus who he played against, and I mean he has gotten better since last season of uh, Baltic Track Mania League. But it doesn't look. Uh, like he is going to be the person to beat. Obviously, that's going to be Bitsy, who's been playing absolutely out of his mind. Critty, uh doing very, very well for himself. SRK, not too bad either. Uh, Oris, uh, he was up there as well, but he's not playing, or so it seems. And then, finally, we do have, as well, Casper, uh, who's, uh, <laughs> whose nickname is Kaspersky. Uh, very nice uh, antivirus there. Uh, shout outs uh, to not you because we're not getting paid. Nope, no sponsor sponsor them. here at all. This is Roger, simply Roger. his name. <laughs> but we are live. Here we go. I, I, yeah, good sponsor. Round number one, and we already have two players out of it right now. Bitsy in the back, and we got Kaspa as well crashing out. Uh, as we get into the RPG section, pretty close between SRK, Vigno, and Critty right now. Let's see if all the players are able to make their way into that blind water jump. SRK right now taking a lead. Let's see if he makes it in, gets it in. Down we go. It's a bit of a hidden, uh, hidden finish, but if you make it, you find it, you're all good. Vigno and Critty coming in with just three hundredths of a second between the two. That is uh, very close between second and third. That is a nice way to kick things off in Group A. Now, Group A, um, from what I understand from uh, my little meta pigeon in the corner, uh, is that uh, we can expect a lot of risking. We can expect a lot of tight driving. These players have been practicing these uh, these tracks a lot. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing times happening. Ooh, SRK, though. Got first once, but slides a bit too much in, a bit too hard of an attack. Falls all the way behind in fifth place. Pretty taking the lead right now with Kuspa right behind him. I do wonder which of the two will be at the top as we get into the loop. It's actually slowed down a tiny bit there. Gap getting even bigger. 1.5. 
sorry, 1.5, uh, I don't even know, uh, 1.5 tenths, that's what I wanted to say, which makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, but no, Critty is just building up his gap, look at that, half of a second between him and Bitsy. And six. Bitsy was making a comeback, yeah, six tenths, yeah. and Bitsy making his comeback, he was in fourth, he'll finish in second place srk was all the way down in the last he'll get third now i i do remember saying that davinio might have a hard time on the on this map hey, that does not tell you about his consistency though he did come in last this round uh davinio might be consistent on this map more so than people who are who, who have had faster times than them so uh don't uh, really take the t map times into account here right because then Bitsy would just win every single map, right? We know that he's strong, but the consistency uh, compared to Critty might not be there. And it could definitely, you know, cost definitely on a map like this. It's, um, I'm pretty sure this is the longest track we have in the map pool at the moment, um, which, you know, only makes it that if you do make a mistake, uh, will hurt you even more in the long run. And there's just more places, uh, more time where things, uh, yeah, it's just, don't really work out. Top four right now, though, very close to each other. I mean, Bitsy and Critty right now, first and second fighting it out. Vigno and SRK fighting for third and fourth. But honestly, it could go either way at any point. Vigno not the best exit right now. Critty falling behind on Bitsy as well as Bitsy picks up his number one. SRK, <laughs> oh my word, very close to not finishing there. But who was not able to finish right now was Kaspa with that jump. He hit the left side of the finish line. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, man. So, Critty got a slowdown on the reactor. And it looked like Davinio just got a bad uh, corner there. He was yeah. slower than SRK going wider despite the fact that SRK went on the inside. Normally, that would mean that SRK would be slower. But not in this case. Uh... For some reason, Trackmania physics be like. Uh, Critty currently uh, getting overtaken by SRK. What do you think so far of these rounds? As uh, as I'll leave it back to you. It's um, I mean, from from again, Meta Pigeon uh, told me uh, definitely seeing a lot more risking. Like uh, looking back at last week, I do feel uh, the players were not as accustomed to the maps as they are right now, right? We're seeing a lot more uh, closer driving, right? Players in between uh, each other just fighting it out. You can see right now, even with some mistakes here and there, like, they're minor mistakes. Oh, Kaspa, unfortunately, making a mistake at the end. That hurts a lot more than it does in the middle of the track. But look at these times as well, right? 48.5 coming in from a, from bit CSRK, driving a 49.0, 49.4 from Vigno. Uh, it's just... Uh, Good stuff. The gaps aren't as big anymore, and I think that is, I feel, the biggest difference. I mean, all these players um, not only qualified for Group A initially, except for SRK, who promoted to Group A um, due to his performance uh, in earlier uh, Swiss rounds. They're all just doing a fantastic job right now, and it's, uh, except for Caspa right now, very, uh, still very close, still uh, up for grabs for who picks up the number one spot. <laughs> And uh, with Oris out, right, technically Oris not playing, uh, he does come in last place, he does come in sixth, and because of that, uh, that will allow Cowie to come into Group A, so next time yes. Group A is played, uh, Cowie will be in here, but we might have a second player completely out as well, and Zinc will go in and overtake and go into Group A, so if someone like, let's say, um, SRK, or, or I do believe it's Caspa, uh, have a really bad time. Caspa uh, seems to be having that bad time. SRK has at least been playing um, and getting himself these second and third places, getting himself quite a, a good amount of points on this map, while the others have been finding it a little bit more inconsistent. He's gotten himself into second place after the five rounds which very good for him 28 points and we've seen and we see three players with 27 points or more when there's a maximum of 40 so you were talking about that earlier two players with 30 well we practically had three there yeah the on definitely bitsy srk pretty right now just doing a fantastic job and uh they leave full very happy uh i i, I don't think any of the players uh, should be unhappy with the results right there and uh Heading into Scary Pucus, uh, is, uh, 
lot more room to uh, maybe build up a gap, but it's uh, it's a close one. I really do enjoy it. Cuspa definitely uh, <laughs> not having the bestest of times right there. Uh, only having the 12 points right now. It's tough. Yeah, I but it's not impossible, I would say, uh, to, to a certain extent. But it, it doesn't feel good, right? It doesn't feel good if you... Uh, go into the first map and you're just not, you know, like, driving the way you're used to and the way you, you, you expect to. Doesn't Maybe it's uh, just the consistency that isn't there, right? Maybe he had one pop-off run and that's why it looked like he might have been faster on that map than, let's say, Davinho, but Davinho uh, just making less mistakes, right? Being more consistent, yep. uh, getting himself just a little bit more points, but uh, on this map in particular, uh, he seems to be uh, as well uh, a bit better, so Davinho, we might see him up in the points more often than not, but uh, it's anyone's game, I would say, right? It's anyone's uh, map. I would uh, like to think that uh, Bitsy would be able to to really extend his lead as he's done at every level. Critty will be there with him trying to punch him down a peg, but uh, well, as I was talking about Davinho, he seems uh, to, to be out. Yeah, unfortunately he went a bit too wide on the grass turn uh, before the looping. And uh, he does find himself all the way in the back right now. Though Critty and Bitsy, look at this back and forth going. It's all going to come down to this final section. Critty, a bit slower than Bitsy right there, but not slow enough. Still picks up the number one spot with Bitsy taking up number two and SRK. Uh, about a second behind on Critty, uh, picking up the four points. This Jingo still finished? Jingo just still finished. All right, Jingo. Good stuff. He does need the points, right? I, at this point, you just cannot afford to be an F, right? Like, it's, it's, right. Uh, it's group A. You know, you're expecting the best of the best. DNFs are not, no, we, we can't do that. Those would, those should be very unexpected. There's 15 seconds to finish after the first player finishes, so it should be more than enough. SRK seems to be pretty decent on this map as well, so if he if he continuously comes in third place, right, and just finishes in third place, there's gonna there's not gonna be an issue for him. I don't I don't think, despite him only having 13 points at the current moment, I think uh, he will be fine and dandy to go. Though I do think Zinc no Zinc will not surpass him in points if he does come third, but if he comes in fourth place somehow, right? Despite the big lead he has, um, let's say to Davinio, who's currently in first place, because Bitsy and Critty are all the way down in two second behind line. Let's see what happens here. Davinio will come in first place unless he were to miss this finish somehow. SRK in second, Bitsy in third, Critty will come in fifth place as Caspa comes in fourth. Yeah, no, Caspa, unfortunately, uh, not able to make that jump, the quarter pipe uh, dirt into grass. But it's, uh, he had enough time to recover. Uh, we're, we we unfortunately didn't see what happened to Bitsy and Curdy there, obviously, uh, as the fight at the front was going on. But it just, uh, I don't know, equalizes the field a bit, right? SRK right in between Mitzi and Curdy in terms of points. Uh, Juno still in a... Good spot, honestly, to, to come back, but Caspa is just... This is not looking like he is going to come out in first place. Um, I mean, never say never, but this is one of those situations where, like, you can see it happening already. You know, you've got Bitsy, you've got Critty. Great jumps from both players. I oh. thought it was... Critty actually jumps a bit too low. I thought it was good. It wasn't. Oh my word, I need to work on my eyesight, apparently. Fortunately, I'm not the guy driving, so, uh, you know, I, otherwise I would have crashed anyways. <laughs> but no, Bitsy, number one, Jingo, and SRK fighting for number two. It's going to be very close. No, the Vigno. Vigno take it. Ooh. Very, very the close. Two, uh, the two medieval uh, Riga players really fighting it out there. It looked like he hit the wall. Didn't it? Did he hit the wall and get I a think slowdown? So. And despite I think so. that, he was still able. It's probably because of his angle too, right? Yeah. That he was able to, to beat SRK there. SRK really taking the tightest line he possibly could, but Davinio was just too far ahead. Despite his slowdown, was able to to be faster because of his angle. Um, 
Critty not really liking this map, it seems. Bitsy not so much either, and this is good for SRK, who has been, who was down the dumps la last week, right? He he wasn't he wasn't having the best of times last week, but uh, this week he he, I think he stays up in Group A. It looks like he does, and at the current moment, uh, I don't see why he doesn't, unless uh, Masculine uh, comes into play somehow. I mean, uh, last time I checked, uh, we're not going to see that one. Uh, at least not <laughs> this round, but maybe next round. Who knows? But I don't think so. I think <laughs> Who knows? SK will just no, no, no. again, and uh, he, uh, he just doesn't play it at all. Bitsy, though, picking up the number one spot. SRK was behind, but Bitsy just kept him away, like, not nah, hands away, hands away, right? Like, uh, quarterback running down the field. No, that's not what quarterbacks do. I don't know. Look, I'm just making up references as I go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like a hole in one? No, that doesn't work either. Dang. Um, like a shot from... No, no, that doesn't do it. Either way, Bitsy does pick it up. That was honestly uh, good rounds all around. But again, it's just... It's, it's, it's tough for Kuspa. It is really tough. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't want to say that Kaspa is uh, being out -leagued at the current moment, right? But I do think that... Uh, it's great that that we saw him get so uh, this good good enough to be in Group A uh, in this second uh, in this second week here, but uh, we uh, he he keeps having troubles, right? The troubles just keep on following him, and I mean same with Davinio, right? Davinio, you don't normally see Davinio in uh, the Group A or I mean the the, the top st uh, standings. So the the fact that he's up there, he's improved a lot as a player. And uh, so that that's great to see. And uh, I mean, he's fighting it out with the likes of SRK, Bitsy, and Critty right now for the top spots. And I mean, despite his mistake there, he will come in fourth. Uh, congratulations to him for really finding that extra gear that he didn't have a few months ago. Yeah, it's 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 all time, right? It's all uh, working with it. And I'm, I'm sure that, you know, him and his teammates uh, in uh, Medieval Riga scrimming all the time, I expect. It's, 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 uh, I don't know, like, as I always tend to say, it's, you know, you're live, you're not just practicing, you're not just, you know, like, just going for world record runs on your own, taking it easy, right? It's, it matters now. You've got five rounds to get the most out of it, and it's, uh, it's always tougher to do it live and, and just, just get it done. It will always be tough, no matter what you do, it will always yeah. be tough, but, um, I mean... It's all about the consistency, right? And this map is everything uh, about the word consistency, right? You you look up the word consistency in the dictionary and this map shows up, right? This map is the most consistent in this map pool by far. And I don't think anyone wants on. to ban this. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to, unless they're real no, Pepegas and they just want bad maps, this is true. right? We haven't seen any, like, at least for on the stream, we haven't seen anybody mention Intertwined uh, as a ban. Right, no one wants to ban it, no one wants to remove it from the map pool. So, honestly, unless you want a Pepega map pool, you remove this map, right? But uh, th Harsh. this is probably the best map in the map pool in terms of consistency, up until, like, that, that final jump into Again, the uh, risky finish. For those who do not know, don't steer, alright? The, the corner will do it for you. If you got your approach into it right, you don't need to steer. I know it's to the right, you want to steer right, don't steer right. What if he added a uh, no steer block right at the end, oh, right before you jump? Oh no! Oh, that would be harsh, though. I mean, though it might fix it. Maybe it actually makes it easier for players. That would be something. Well, it depends on the angle, right? Just if you land ideas. sideways, just, just, just map you're. <laughs> oh, Listen man. to me here. You're gonna put a no steer block in the yeah. jump. <laughs> oh, would be amazing. Oh man. <laughs> we are alive, I should say. Uh, round number one, and right now it's a fight between Vigno, Bitsy, and Credi right now. Kaspa, I mean, he's, he's trailing behind a bit, giving us a bit of an overview, but not really doing a tremendous job. Bitsy, a bit more speed going into the jump, but not enough to overtake Vigno, who uh, has a tremendous time. Look at that 15.6, Bitsy 50.7, Credi 50.8. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to SRK, but it looks like he decided to retire there. No points, which... Uh, it's really bad for SRK. Very, very bad. I mean, currently, just looking at the live rankings, uh, Bitsy, 14 points ahead. That is massive. 
And, uh, I mean, Bitsy is doing a tremendous job right now, looking very good. I don't think he's going to lose that lead at all. So that means it's a fight for second place, right? And those two extra points uh, for SRK would have been very uh, crucial, right? But uh, the fact that he doesn't have any, what, he, he's Again, not even yeah, playing. He's not He's, he's not even showing up. I mean, uh, yeah, no, I don't know. He's, um, oh, I think he, uh, he might have had internet issues there. That's possible. I don't know if we're going to have a, a reset. Would it be possible, you think, or is uh, it... Uh, usually we do not. I, I'm, I'm uh, no, huh? pretty sure that in, you know, like in the rules as well, you know, it is stated, you know, you need SRK to make sure is that dead, though. Is, uh, up to date and set up. Oh, Casper could have gotten third but, place there, but he uh, fails sure. that, and Casper will get... Uh, fourth place, SRK is dead. I don't know if we get a pause. I mean, that's the tricky part, as, as Rizzy says. SRK is the admin. We we, we, we can't really... You, you literally cannot pause. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. There's nothing you can do. It's... Yeah. <laughs> everyone's confused, but uh, I, I think everyone's gonna keep going anyway, right? What, what are yeah. you gonna do? Stop and lose those points? No, you're gonna fight because... You're, you get more points now that SRK is is not here, right? And well, it's it's his fault, right? Technically, he he has to make sure right. that he's in. Uh, he he has the internet and uh, doesn't yeah. need to do anything, right? So, um, and I do believe that it's in the rules as well. Yeah, it's and one of those situations, you know, where it's tough, and and I I can't imagine he, you know, like consciously decided, you know, what I'm just gonna pull the plug on my internet. Uh, <laughs> That would be, be kind of weird, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's one of those things that is stated, and uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, what happens afterwards. Right now, the Vino. players should drive, and yeah, Vino is doing fantastic. Critty and Bitsy fighting for number two. Who picks it up? Ooh, it is Bitsy. Uh, Critty. <laughs> no, Jingo actually. Oh my word! I didn't even realize. I thought Jingo <laughs> was at, no. He actually got into third. Wait, what? Yeah, all right, the players are just, I mean, this is the uh, players themselves deciding to stop, which is totally, uh... It's justified, right? Uh, yeah. SRK is going to lose a, a large amount of points here, right? He's already lost three rounds, right, where where he's uh, been forced to DNF, and we'll see what happens here. I, I mean, did, did he fall out of his chair and die? Who knows, right? I <laughs> oh god <laughs> look it could just be his isp messing up all right we don't need to <laughs> no 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 I, I mean like maybe he got up and then like stubbed his toe right mm -hmm. and like that, that that's like the worst thing in the world right you, when you stub your toe and die that, uh, that's that, the that absolute worst thing i hate it when it happens oh man uh, so, i mean I, I i do that maybe once a day it's it's not great <laughs> yeah i mean yeah i'll, I'll recover but it's Oh, man. Davinio really likes this map, though. He did come in third because of the crash into the finish that he that he got. But Davinio is very, very consistent on this map and consistently the fastest. And that is very good for him. And, oh. I mean, th this SRK, uh, well, quote-unquote, drama is probably uh, the best thing that, that could have happened to him, right? This is yeah. really probably just cemented himself into third place unless SRK just decides to to go ape mode you know like monkey mode oh, and just absolutely balls to the wall reclaim that th third and even second place if he can right because critty taking full advantage right Davinio taking full advantage and Bitsy especially taking full advantage because SRK was in second and now his gap is even bigger all right. Well, I'm just keeping an eye on Chad as well in the meantime, and it, yeah, it's yeah. I mean, you don't want to fire hazard. I get that. That is. Uh, I mean, when yes, did that happen? Causes fire when electricity makes, is involved. <laughs> makes me think of something that happened recently. For uh, was it Minecraft Championship? With uh, really? one of the players oh, actually no. uh, having a fire alarm go off in their office building while they were playing. Oh. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> and they they had to stop playing, right? And so they 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 they, they suddenly uh, went uh, out, uh, like uh, they 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 just suddenly AFK'd, and th then they learned that oh, there's a fire in his building. We we we're, we're playing shorthanded here, and then they brought in a new player to to, to play. Oh, I, I, wow. I do believe it was 
what, what was his name? Was it um, Wilbur? Was it Wilbur? I think it was I, Wilbur. I'm not up to date on anyway. the scene, but... I mean, I anyway, I, I do <laughs> believe it was. Anyway, uh, are we back in? We seem I, to be back in. It looks like all the players are good to go. Everybody is ready. And uh, yeah, we do skip around because of, uh, you know, stopping SRK's home from being burnt down. Uh, but no, where we are back again and uh, final round on uh, Intertwined right now. Need to get back into it. Ooh. Look at that top three, though. Yeah. Very close. Ooh, as I am saying <sighs> that, Vino just. Oh, sorry, bro. I, I didn't mean to. All right. I just wanted to say how close it was between the three, but right now it is close between SRK and Critty. And let's say which of the two will do it. SRK not having the best speed going out of that corner. Oh, Flips no. the side as well. Does not get the risky <laughs> finish. No. Bitsy gets number two. Wait, Bitsy. Come on. Okay, SRK gets in, but it's Davino. Sorry, it was Davino, not yeah. Bitsy. <laughs> nah, he was afraid for because Davinio. Oh no, he oh, might no. lose this this third place here. That he's well not worked really hard, but I mean, he he did come back on this map. One hundred percent, he came back on this map, Look, and the fact that SRK had that fire hazard there I, definitely I, did help. I don't want to say it, but you know, I, I I somehow think maybe somehow he contacted SRK's sister and then accidentally brought the water i don't want to say it. look i just i just you know like i'm not gonna say it but i mean you know it's it's somewhat convenient that's all i'm gonna say well, why paypal convenient. srk himself when you can exactly. paypal his sister exactly see that's five head that is five <laughs> <laughs> just no. paypal his building manager yeah yeah it's totally fine don't worry about it <laughs> Uh, we, we have the new map in front of us right now. For those who uh, didn't uh, catch the previous round, this is the new round. The uh, map from SRK was banned. Uh, I'm not going to repeat the name because it's the pet, the pet Park one. We'll call it that. Uh, <laughs> and this is the new track. Oh, look at the speed. Forth. Yeah, no, this, this is what you oh, want to wow. see. Let's get the slide. Come on, do it. Vigno. Oh, the Vigno. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. Chef's kiss. Oh, wow. That's a beautiful round by Davino there at the end. And hopefully we get to see more of that. Bitsy with the fastest time in second place is Critty. SRK is in third when it comes to uh, time. the times on this yeah. map. But times don't mean too much because it's all about the consistency, right? And yes. well, you might have a fast time if you're, if you're Bitsy, but are you a consistent person who can get those consistent, uh, consistently fast, uh, fast times? Or maybe Critty is the fa is the more consistent player because Bitsy is all the way down in last. Yeah, feeling all the way down, and this is a high speed track. So in general, it isn't that bad if there's a few car lengths in between you and your opponent, but can't be too much, right? We did see Critty driving all the way out, but SRK great inside line heading into the. Uh, half pipe right there. I mean, it's what is it? It's a pipe. What do they even call those? Either way, SRK picking up the number one. Although, Gino, you did hear him in the back. That slide just very, very close to catching up. I know we didn't see it, but I hope you heard it. Like, I, I, I'm I, sure uh, SRK was like, come on, come on, it come was, on. I need more speed. Give me the speed. Give me the speed. <laughs> I got the speed. <laughs> it, it was a very bad ice turn by SRK there. But uh, I don't know if you if you noticed, but these times are actually really slow. These are the same times that Group B were, were doing, right? And uh, this map, uh, currently, it's, it's best is a 45-2 uh, by Bitsy, right? But all these players have been able to get 45s. And so we're probably going to see more 45s at the, the later stages of this map here. I, I, I'd be hard pressed to find that we don't get a single 45 when uh, all of these players are capable of it. It's, uh, I mean, this is definitely one of those tracks where you can risk hard, right? So uh, I expect the players to risk. Kaspa taking a bit too much of a risk, going too much on the inside. SRK as well, too much on the inside, attacking these quarters just a bit too hard. <gasps> Bitsy! Jingyo! Jingyo <laughs> <Gino> does it! <laughs> These eye slides are just doing it for him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everyone. He was in fourth. 
Yeah. He was as he went from zero to hero by just looking at everyone die around him. They fell like flies. Bitsy, he was on a 45 time, right? If he yeah. gets the ice light perfectly, that's a 45. But oh no, he goes so wide. That was ex that was just tough to see. And that ice, honestly, it's it's a tough one. I mean, it's at as you build up this speed and you exit out of the uh, magnet slalom section at 600 plus, maybe even 700 if your lines were just amazing. And then you have to convert that speed into an ice slide, right? You've got a bit of the penalty dirt going on uh, and that's all you get for slowing down, pretty much. Ooh, SRK. Ooh, was that Casper? No, that, that was, was SRK. SRK. Yeah, SRK going out. Casper right now, uh, looking way behind on Bitsy and Critty right now as they are heading into the ice slide. Let's see how the two players do. Bitsy with a great slide right there. 45.6. There you solid, go. Solid, solid. That is, that would be equal to the fourth best time uh, for on this map. So Ooh. there you go. He's still 0.4 behind his personal best, but if you're consistent enough to be 0.5 behind your personal best, right? You're already beating everyone else that's here pretty much yeah. because the only person that's really in there is SRK and, and uh, Critty. And uh, well, Bitsy having uh, officially won it now, I do believe. He is in the prices right now to say it like that, though no prices are in this one round just yet. Uh, but no, he is definitely number one. Uh, there is uh, really nothing that can happen. Uh, he can DNF twice and he'll still be good to go. Critty uh, and uh, Gino, things could happen there, definitely. SRK and, and Gino as well. Caspa, unfortunately, will have to relegate to the number five. He's going to have to accept that as uh, round four. We just have two rounds remaining. And again, it is Bitsy and Critty at the front. Let's see these ice lights going in Bitsy. Mm, crispy. Ooh. What a slide Overtake. by Caspa. Yeah, solid. Actually overtaking uh, Gino right there. It is a 47. SRK does make it into the finish line right there. See what that does to the standings, though. Uh, Critty building up even more of a gap between him and uh, Zinho. That that's it then. I uh, think that is it. This the is standings what we can't have. change. Yeah. Yeah. And another uh, free for a uh, free for all round, just for fun, whatever you want to call it. Had SRK not had those issues, would he have come in third though? Right. We we have to think about it that way. Right. Would he have come in third? Or would he have come in second, uh, maybe? I don't think he comes in fourth, right? But I, I don't think he comes in second either. If I'll be completely honest. I think Critty really played strongly on this map. And SRK clearly uh, didn't like this one uh, as, uh, as well or as much as Bitsy and Critty did. Or or even Davinho, who yeah, uh, had his strong moments, right? I feel like this... Uh, yeah, it definitely could have been a map for uh, Davinho to... Uh... You know, like really strike back. I mean, it's that the gap was already too big to begin with. Um, Critty also, woof, 45.5. Nice time. See, when the pressure is off, you can see these players is driving great times. <laughs> there was no pressure anymore. That's a PB. Yeah. Oops. P PB on the on the on the round, of course. That that doesn't mean anything anymore, right? Because the pressure is just off, right? You you don't have that weight on your shoulders anymore. But uh, I mean, th those points, even if you come in second place, right? They're important, and uh, so that's great to see. Normally in these uh, rounds, right, in these in these groups, you only see maybe three players getting a win, right? We saw four players in this yes. one getting a win. Caspa was uh, was the only player who didn't get a win, but he was close to getting one. And I mean, honestly, he could have won a few uh, if he didn't crash out at the same time as the others who were at the front, let's say a Bitsy and Critty crashing out, right? He, he was close. He was up there with Davinho and then he crashed out, uh, I do believe, on, um, on uh, this map, actually in one of the rounds on this map. So uh, he could have won around. We, we, this could have been one of the first groups where all five players or all six, all the players in in the group win uh, a round, right? I, I don't know if Oris would have won a round had he been playing, right? We we're not going to speculate about that. Where would he have no. finished? I don't know, right? Maybe fifth or sixth, right? But right now he's in sixth, so that's all that matters. And so with Oris being in fifth and with so few points, 
despite the fact that there were only five players playing, it looks like he will be relegated down yeah, because the... Zinc is ahead of Oris and Cowie's ahead as well. We're getting of... some results in though, so that is nice. Group D also finishing up. Um... <laughs> We can see, alrighty, you know, we've got Group A, we got some uh, sorting going on right now. This is all happening live, I know you enjoyed. We got in first place with zero points. I'm not sure how you did that, but hey, uh, no, that's the <laughs> sorting happening. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, SRK is working on it as we speak, so I'm, I'm positive that he'll just do some uh, magic right there. There you go. We have our new standings right here, right now. So again, you know, we expected Bit Secrety, you know, they're staying in. Uh, Zvigno is staying in as well. SRK uh, also in despite his uh, fourth place. That is still six points gained due to being in Group A. Uh, together with Kawi again, who uh, SRK and Kawi, they were in Group B previously, but now Kawi is in. And Kaspa, despite his expectations to go into Group B, he really in A. He stays in A. Uh, Are they tied for points? It's it's Oris who uh, went down. Yeah, 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 Oris is out. Or we already knew Oris was out. Yeah, but Zinc is is Zinc tied in points? No, not even. I, Kaspa having nineteen ooh. points and Zinc at seventeen. So it's not okay, even that okay. big of a gap, but it is the benefit of being Group A and seeded into Group A as well. There is simply more points to be gained there. Um, you know, because Zinc and Kaspa. Zinc and Caspa are pretty uh, neck and neck when it comes to times on these maps. So I'm not surprised that they're very, very close to each other, but it just stinks for them, right? Because mm -hmm. sixth and seventh are separated in, in two different groups, right? So one's a winner, one's a loser, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to think of it like that. And so if, uh, yeah, I, th I think despite the fact that right now Caspa is higher up than Zinc, I think this is at a disadvantage because he's getting less points if Zinc wins Group B again. Uh, well, in the last time he didn't win Group B, he got second place. But if he wins Group B this time, uh, despite the fact that Oris is now with them down there, if he actually plays uh, in the Group B stage, then he might uh, outweigh Caspa completely, and Caspa uh, might have a really tough time of things and getting any more points. I'm also looking at these, um, you know, the top 16 will be moving on to the playoffs, and we only have one match remaining, which we have in just a few minutes, actually. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the, you can see, like, the gap right now, uh, it's, it's happening in Group C, right? Group C is the cutoff uh, at the moment. Right. And that's where uh, we can expect things. Now, we already know Heroes isn't playing today, so most likely will not be staying in the top 16. But, I mean, there is... Still a chance for like Kuzi to to maybe uh, sneak in, right? Like he got into first place in uh, Group D, and he's still in Group D, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again. We haven't seen him play, obviously, so we can't confirm that. But that would be a nice 12 point. It depends on what happens, right? All the players will be getting points. Everybody who is playing should be uh, should be interesting to see. But I would say let's take a small little break as. Uh, we get things sorted out for match four of the Swiss rounds. So we'll be checking out Group B once again. So uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Maybe get yourself a snack. And while you're at it, give me a donut. You want something, man? We can, we can get the chance mm, to get us something. Donut. Yeah, there you go. Just make it two donuts, and we'll see you in just a little bit.
back. We're here. Final round that, that, of that's the it? census. What? What's, what's it? What do you mean? This is it? That, that's, that, that's how you're gonna end this? Come on, we're, man. We're, we're, not, like... we're not at the end just yet. We're getting to the end right now. We'll, we'll, we're on we'll the final it stretch. It's, it's a but, crescendo but... of sorts. Uh, yes, but this that's how you start off the beginning to the end, right? Like the the beginning of the end, I should say. Oh yeah. That's how you start it off. This this I mean Come on, to be man. fair to be fair. This is group B and group B at this point uh everyone playing right now is is pretty much qualified. They will gain enough points to be placed in the playoffs and it's really a matter of where do you get seeded. Um, right. Because, you know, you want to make sure you get good seats. You don't want to end up in uh, group, uh, the, the top group in the playoffs. Because then you'll be uh, also having to encounter the number one uh, seated. But also <laughs> the number 16 seated, right? Uh, right. So that's uh, one of those things that uh, can uh, definitely make or break. Now, right now, we don't know exactly where everybody will be seated. It's all dependent on how many points everybody gets. Uh, we are missing a player from the group. But before we get into who is playing... Um, we have a ban on loopholes, so no RPG shenanigans happening today. Um, and in terms of players, a bit of a mix happening in Group B. Uh, we've got Armo and Zulus coming in to Group B right now. And uh, the ones we've seen before are Fis, Cervantes, and Zinc. Um, Danik should be in, but he is not here. We're not really sure what, how, why, but he is not here and therefore uh, won't be gaining any points. I'm Which surprised. Could be a bit weird. <laughs> it could be a bit weird. It could get a little bit itty bitty weird as uh, we're finishing off this warm up. I do think <sighs> it surprises me that everyone in the top ranks, uh, disqual. Uh, and what is it? They uh, they remove, they ban uh, Masculine, but in the lower ranks, it's uh, Zulus' map loophole, right? Yeah. And I think that's just because of the, not the difficulty of, of the map, but just the memorization of it, right? Like, mm. I, I keep coming back to its memorization. Yeah. That's what RPG is all about, right? Memorization of where, or where to go to, to right. be as fast as possible, right? And so... That that's probably the reason why it's been banned, right? It's it's not due to its sheer difficulty because then that would be masculine, right? That would uh, get banned. But more often than not, you see the lower tier players wanting to ban uh, that map by Zulus. Anyway, uh, currently Zulus is in second place with Armo in first, and no one is able to do the start. No, that jump uh, was a death trap this time. We're not even seeing them appear in the splits at all. But it's looking like Armo is just uh, picking up a sweet eight points right now in round number one. Nobody really out to contest. Sulu's being the closest one of the bunch, but three seconds. Literally behind. free. Three. Literally free points. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it's the quarter pipe jump. We already said it. We already said it before. That quarter pipe jump is make or break. And I already. Like, looking at it, it was already a bit sketchy, right? The way uh, both Armo and Zulus were approaching that one. But they made it. So, I was like, alright. And then the rest didn't. <laughs> so, it's uh, really a question of who makes the jump. Uh, I feel if this is uh, an indication of uh, what's to come. But now, taking an early lead for Armo. I mean, uh, round one. Uh, no clear winner or losers just yet. As uh, right now Zulu's taking the lead together with Zinc fighting it out. Cervantes, Armo, and Feast rounding up the 3, 4, and 5 spots right now. Ooh, good loop from Feast, but let's see who gets the jump. Here we go, up, up, and away. Looking pretty good for the top 4 right now. And let's see, Armo also in it. Everybody making a jump, everybody doing a fantastic job making it. Uh, but the gaps are pretty big between all the players, even at the number one and two, Cervantes and Zinc. Zinc does take a nice of a bit of an inside line and overtakes, actually. Let's see how he gets to finish. A little bit slow, but enough to make it in. Armo takes number two. What happened to Cervantes? I think he crashed They all died out. in the, the last died. turn, yeah? Yikes. They all died before the last uh, checkpoint. And uh, that, that makes a big <laughs> difference. Uh, I... D I don't, I don't understand what, what's making them crash out there, but I think it's no slides. It I think they're accidentally no sliding that instead of, well, sliding in yeah. in that 
in that final checkpoint, and so because of that, they they just fly out. They need to restart. It's um, you know, uh, there's two ways of approaching that corner. One is uh, with a bonk. I mean, you you can try it with a bonk and slow down that way. Ooh, Zulu's not doing the right <gasps> type of bonking right there with a respawn as well. You're not getting out of that one. Uh, he he it, took your he took your advice too literally. Yeah, like I didn't mean there. Come on, she like I just man. Oh, all right, well you know he did what he did. Uh, but no, it's either a bonk or a double um, double drift, right? You want to drift, uh, then drive a bit forward, then drift again, uh, staying on the outside so you can uh, make the turn inside for the risky uh, jump. Let's see if any of the players oh, are able okay. to do it right now. So there you have Zinc. Vs as well, both very good lines. Armo coming in third place. See, that's what you expect. That's what you expect from these lines. I mean, I don't know if you could do it in one drift. I personally do it in true two, just because of the way the corner is angled. But actually, I just noticed w w what they crashed there you go. See? and so why they need that. to restart. Uh, it's actually between the last checkpoint and the second to last checkpoint. There is a that dirt section. Uh, if you're too much to the right, there is a jump. And if you jump there, you actually just straight up bonk into the wall, right? If you're on the left side, you'll uh, you'll perfectly slide. You'll not have any air time and you can easily go into the next checkpoint. But if you're too much to the right, then you will have air time and you will crash. And that's probably what happened to the, to the last two in the, that uh, second round there. Definitely, I mean, that's uh, definitely a good one to keep an eye on then. I uh, didn't even think about that, to be honest. Good jumps from everyone. Uh, Zulu's not the best jump, but I mean, I feel like a good jump at this point is simply making it up there. <laughs> very, <laughs> Just finishing very it honest. within a, a reasonable time is, <laughs> yeah. is good enough. So He's, this jump right oh. here, if you're too much to the right, you'll, yeah. you have air time. I think oh, that's what so. happened. I mean, Armo saying, Armo saying, ooh, Armo going a bit too far to Zula the snipe! Left. Zula snipe! Zula snipe! Zula snipe. <laughs> oh my word! Zula from fifth to second. Oh my Let's word! Go. Let's go. Let's go, nowhere. From downtown, and it just comes, just uh, sneaks on by. That was nice. That was very, very nice indeed. Nabbing six points instead of four. That's a, that's a big difference. That's what you want. That's what you need. I mean, standings right now, Zinc in first place, Armo in second, Zula's in third, and Defeat and Cervantes rounding it out. I mean, not the biggest of differences right now. 11 points between number one and five. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can round. happen. As, uh, yeah, last round indeed. Let's see the jump. Will anyone fail it? It's Ooh, up Armo in the air. Resets. Yes, there is. Zinc Armo resets. has a reset. And these, I think he has an easy win here. No one's even close. So unless he makes a massive, massive mistake, right? Like he has a catastrophe, a cataclysm. I, I don't know what what else to to well, call it, right? Uh, unless he bonks not... into the next checkpoint here, right? Like just bonks into this somehow. Uh, get, gets airtime, uh, hits the finish ring. None I don't know. I, I, tr I tried to give him every uh, like <laughs> anti. Uh, what is it? Anti Jinx. He right, actually wins right. a round. So congratulations yeah, yeah. to to V's there, uh, getting it through. And that's actually a really good time as well. Cervantes in second, Zinc in third, Zulus in fourth. Zulus not doing too bad on this map. He's a little bit more consistent than I would have expected him to be. He was in third. He's down to fourth because obviously V's getting that first place. Mm -hmm. uh, Zinc actually DNF the first round, and he's still. Despite that fact, in first place. I mean, look at that as well, right? We got multiple twenties happening. Cervantes just barely not on the twenty. It's uh, the the scary Fucus was uh, it's quite scary. And uh, I mean, I'm I'm very happy that most of the time the jumps went well. We it was two rounds, right, where uh, the jump failed uh, for most players. So overall, uh, fun map, good map to see, and. Uh, but no definitive winner. No definitive outliers right now. Uh, first place is still up for grabs. Intertwined could be make or break. Again, nice sliding around and no ice to be seen at all. Uh, what are your thoughts? Do you have any stats for me on uh, who might be uh, <sighs> pulling out on this one? So here's the thing is that Zinc, uh, I have no doubt in my mind, wins these. But everyone else behind him 
it's all uh, a coin flip, I would say, right? Because while the times are not whatsoever close, it's it's all about that round, right, where you don't bonk, right? If someone has a clean round, they're probably coming in second or third. Yeah. No matter no matter how slow they are, if they have a clean round and they do the uh, risky finish properly, they are 100% in second or third. We're not going to have a full five players here. Uh, n getting clean rounds. I, I don't see that happening. Even though this is the most consistent map, it is still pretty hard to not bonk somewhere. Oh yeah. It's it's a map where risking is very much possible as well, right? You, you want to make sure like these slides, you slide as much outwards as possible. And you've got these corners going in. You want to make sure you turn them in right at the apex, right? There's a lot going on. Feast right there. He took Oof. the risk and it didn't pay off. Very, very unfortunate for him. Uh, Zinc right now in the lead with Armo chasing behind about half a second at this point. It's all going to come down to this final jump. Looking pretty good for Zinc. Yeah, that's good. He's in. Armo, though, not <sighs> doing what you need to do and not doing it again. Fifth place uh, is all That he gets. hurts. That hurts uh, a lot, but you uh, saw it, right? V's, he crashed. You said it. He crashed, and he's still in second place, right? So you don't even need a clean round to get second place here. Zinc, I think, gets the clean 40 points unless he massive, makes a massive error, right, at one point. Right. But even if he does touch a wall, it could be possible for him to, to win out that round. I thought that was him as uh, <laughs> that yeah, I was talking about. Guy, as yeah. That was Armo, point. yeah, yeah. <laughs> The armored truck trying to figure out what was tough for him or the uh, checkpoint. Ooh, Feast was in contention right now for first place with Zinc, but he took that corner a bit too narrow, didn't uh, drive smoothly down that grass corner. Though he is retaking second, uh, Zinc has a nice lead right now. He just needs to drive solid. Again, he doesn't need to risk at all, and Feast has to. Ooh, nice corner as well, but... While he has gained a bit of ground there, it's not enough to overtake Zinc again, going for that. <gasps> oh my word! He, I, I for a second I was, I wasn't sure. Like, is he gonna make it? Is he not gonna make it? Vis, in fact, like, also not the right angle, but a bit lucky Let's in how his car flipped. <laughs> very, very lucky. I jinked Zinc. Let's oh, go. This is not the, the first 40. time I've done it. It's not the last time either. <laughs> Uh, right. These poor Estonian players, I keep <laughs> jinxing them, right? Critty, uh, uh, Zinc, I, I've, I've jinxed Armo before uh, in yeah. earlier BTL. Uh, it's it's very fun. I, I don't know why it's specifically the Estonians, but it, it just so happens to always be them. And <laughs> uh, that's, that's tough. I mean, so next time we have like, you know, like a, a few Estonian players, you're saying to make sure they win, you don't <laughs> show up is, is that the the strat they just need to paypal you to make sure you uh, uh so well, no, well, well that, that didn't <laughs> that didn't quite work out for nustic because mm. mm. i wasn't there in bitsy one so oh, right. eh. oh, well, oh, well. nustic did win when, when i was there i could not ever jinx nustic that that was the one thing i couldn't do as uh, we were heading into the final bit of the round here, Zinc still in the lead. Armo in second. V's and oh, Armo are fighting for it, but Where's Armo? Armo can't finish. No. Armo getting third. That's, no, that's he not, will not get fourth. Right. Come on, uh, Armo, come on. There's Zulus. Watching. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Zulus, right get he's in right there. Oh. Uh. <laughs> he was playing Tony Hawk. I don't know what Armo was doing there. Um, <laughs> uh, do, do you know? Uh, have you ever played Rocket League? I have, when you accidentally, yeah. uh, when you accidentally uh, have the front wheels on the car, uh, on 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 the car in front of you, and your back wheels on the ground, right? That's exactly what he was doing, just right, with a, yeah, a checkpoint. The checkpoint, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> looking very, very awkward. I have to say, like, one thing that I have been noticing, like, right now, Zinc and Feast, and Feast is the one I wanted to uh, keep an eye on right now, is, like, is that, um, Dirt into Road's corner. Like, he has been doing that one tremendously. I'm very curious as he is able to, uh, to do it again. Like, here we go. 
Does he get like he's been getting that one? Like, this one's super Whoa. tight every single time. Oh, he does it wow. again. Like I, I'm pretty wow. sure he was in the lab for that one and just practiced that one over and over and over because he just like this wasn't as tight of a corner as it was previously, but he is uh, definitely uh, very very solid in the latter half of the map. Uh, Cervantes, uh, by the way, not making the jump correctly right there, even though he was in second place, having to settle on fifth. And Zinc taking a uh, not not commanding lead, as you can see, right? Fis, as I said, he's doing a fantastic job on this track, and uh, it is seven points between him and Zinc at the moment. Round five on Intertwined. I mean, this is definitely uh, another good shot for these to uh, get some more points on the board, catch up on his competitors, and make sure he, uh, he can find himself in the number one spot, right? Again, these players have been qualified for playoffs, but... You know, like, that doesn't matter if you want to be first, right? That's that's what should matter at the end of the day, come in first place. Right, and, I mean, you you look at uh, Armo and Zula, does it surprise you that they're doing this well compared to, let's say, Cervantes, who was in Group B and, and did pretty well in Group B uh, in, the, in the first match, but right now is just barely, barely, barely ahead of both of them. I'm just looking, just making sure I'm hoping Peace makes it. He makes it. All right, he's good, he's good. All right. <laughs> Armo, you were scared about that. Yeah, I was very scared. I didn't want to like say anything at all about him. Armo, unfortunately, like despite his, uh, you know, pretty good performance on the previous map, he's not feeling too well on this one. Um, uh, he has dropped down from second to f is he dropping into fifth? Oh, almost one point separating. It was close, him yeah. And uh, Zulu's right now. That was a tough map for him, but a great map for Vs. I mean, uh, Zinc obviously uh, just staying in this number one spot, doing a great job at that as well. But uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's Vs all of a sudden in the the contender spot for uh, for number one. But the new map is here. We got Vingus coming in from Richardy. Should be uh, a lot, a lot of fun driving. What do you think? We are we expecting a forty five here? What do, what do these players even drive on this one? Uh. I, I would say we're, we're expecting 47s. We're expecting 47s because Cowie was the only one who could really do 46s. And Zinc, I think he could get up into the, the low 46. Right. right uh, uh, the high 46, sorry. But the, the others, it, it will take something for them to get into the 46s. I think okay. it would be a pop off run. Triple bonk. Sorry, that was, that was funny. Yeah, but I, uh, ding, ding, ding. Yeah, no, is that like, uh, what do we got? We got three in a row. Uh, I don't know what happened. That was just a very interesting that they all bonked in the exact same <laughs> quarter. We're still in warm up, so no worries just yet. But uh, Yeah, Zinc is going to is gonna get the 46s, but I like he just got a 46-4. Uh, but he can absolutely just save it, I would I would think. The, the newer map is not really suited. I would think for for these players here, so I'm surprised that they're not really banning it, right? right. Um, they're they're not exactly the fastest on 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 this map, and so let's just see, let's see what they can do because again, right? You're, you're thinking, okay, well, their fastest times is this. You you you'll take off a few tents, right? Because they want to be consistent. They don't want to balls to the wallet because everyone is so close, right? You, obviously, if someone crashes out, you want to take advantage of that. You don't want to be that person who crashes out. So, as we go into this one here... Whoa, oh, wow, Arbo. Yeah, oof, bit too wide right there. That is one of the things we haven't seen at all happening in Group A, but something I have neglected to mention. If you go a bit too much to the right there, you're not going to hit the... Uh, <laughs> you're not going to hit it. All right, that magnet just says, bye bye uh, so long, see you later, uh, should have touched me a tiny bit more there, and uh, no, you just, no. It, they're out, they're out. <laughs> I've had I that just, happen to I me just as well. Had, <laughs> no, I just had the worst thought in the world. No one uses this feature anymore on their phones, obviously, because, uh, it, it's useless. It used to be a really useful feature, but, uh, airplane mode. That's right. what uh, Armo oh, that, just turned oh, on. Oh, he just turned it on. He just decided yeah, to Yeah, he accidentally it. turned on airplane <laughs> mode. And, uh, well, as as my father would say, uh, flashers are for airplanes. Because uh, he did not tell anyone that he was going to plane uh, that that right there. And, uh, yeah. well, no one being warned, uh, they, they, they probably all got worried, right? They, they just see an airplane suddenly zooping by. 
I mean, imagine being in the stadium at that point. I, uh, then again, I really wouldn't want to be in the stadium for a Trackmania race with all these cars. <laughs> no, very, you, you'll very get honest. crashed into. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this. As, uh, oh, Zink. Good. Zink is doing a tremendous job. He has, uh, he's just dominating it. Beast is doing a fantastic job as well, keeping up. The slide ooh, was ooh, good until he ooh, went a bit too deep, but he still gets second. Servant is almost overtaking there, but yeah. That could have been a yeah. lot tougher, because that ice slide could put you in a bit of a bad position, right? Um, either uh, getting your wheel stuck over one of the edges, and you can't get out, uh, hitting the side, and maybe uh, grinding the uh, you know, the finish line. It's all possible, uh, but he was able to recover there, still picking up some uh, nice points right there. Still solidifying that number two spot. Look at that. Zing yeah, I, I would points. look at the bottom three here. I, I'm going to say this right now. I think the top two are staying where they are, but the bottom three here are who we should be looking at. Zulus, Cervantes, and and Arma. Yeah, it, it, the, the gap all of a sudden got bigger. Like, map one, not too big. Map two, getting a bit bigger. But right now, you know, like, it's happening. Though, Zinc all the way in the back for this round. Beast looking to pick up eight points this time. And uh, if Zinc stays in number five spot, this could be a fantastic situation for Beast. Um, overtaken by seven points. But look Zink. at Zink! The rocket coming out! Wait, but you Zulus! He rockets he all second. the way up! <laughs> oh my word. Zulus would oh, take. Yeah, you dumb. just saw the two, like, two players just driving by. But here's the thing. You don't want to go forward. You want to go left. And that's what they failed to do there, right? You want to go left. Not forward. Left. Uh, uh, you know, uh, going oh, fast no. isn't enough. You got to steer as well. The, the bottom three are separated by one point, Boney. Oh, They're no. separated by one point. We need to look at these uh, these three for the final two rounds here because they're the important ones, right? They're the VIPs now because this is crucial to their tournament lives, right? In the BTL here. Armo in second place, right next to Zinc, and Zulus and Cervantes are in the bottom two positions here. A little bit ways back. Oh. Armo is in third. He goes wide. He might get overtaken. He will get overtaken by Zulus. Let's look at what happens here as Bees tries to win this round, and he will. And let's see what happens in behind. Zulus gets third, and that's so crucial for him. He got second last round and put himself up to third place. Now he oh, solidifies no. that third place. And Armo, Armo. getting fourth with the snipe. Uh, Cervantes. That slide, oh no. That slide. That was not a slide. That's not a slide you want. And you can see the time differential as well. Uh, this, this map, because of its speed, is very, very punishing when it comes to timings as well. Right? A 47 and a 54 uh, could be the difference between, uh, you know, getting a good ice slide or a bad ice slide. Right? That ice slide, again, it's high speed. So if you mess that up, oh yeah, no. Uh, you can uh, kiss your first place goodbye. No problem whatsoever. It's, uh, it's very, very tough and... Uh, I mean, for anybody who enjoys fast maps, it's a great map. But for anybody who does not, yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, Cargo Ver, Ver in this one, as uh, Armo decides to go flying once again, getting some air miles along the way. Zinc and Feast right now contending for first place. Zinc in first place, Feast having more speed going out of that half pipe. But Zinc slides in a bit too tight, having to respawn Cervantes. all the way to the back. Where's Cervantes? Cervantes crashes, Zulus gets third, Armo gets fourth. Cervantes comes in last place. Boney! This is nuts! He's not, he's not, he's not last? What are you talking about? Cervantes comes <laughs> in, in <points>. last place! <laughs> Oh, wow. The two Group C players, they were fighting for their tournament lives two hours ago. They're now better off than Cervantes, who was in ninth coming into today. That Escalade. is Escalade. rough <laughs> for Cervantes. I'm, that I'm is confused. rough. I mean, he's in last in rankings, but he, he got fourth in that race. I'm a bit confused, honestly. <laughs> what do you mean? Because Armo four. finished, they were tied for last place, right? So Armo coming in ahead. Yeah, in I mean, in rankings, he is behind right? 52 versus 53. I, mean, I was just more like the, the race we just saw, right? The, the round. Right. That's, that's where my confusion came in as uh, Zinc had to Oh, on. wow. <laughs> Listen, yeah, th this there is so for critical for Cervantes here. <laughs> no, no, but this is so critical for Cervantes. 
right? This last map here, he needs to win this, pretty much. He needs to beat out Zulus and Cervantes, and Zulus has a massive lead on him. And Armo is right is right is right up next to uh, next to Cervantes here. So the two Group C players, the two players who came in to replace both Cowie and and uh, hmm, I'm for I'm blanking on uh, on the player. Um, it's it's definitely not Zinc. I don't know why I have Zinc in my head, Zinc's but fine. Uh, Zinc's, Zinc's Zinc 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 is completely fine. The player that they're replacing is Heroes. There you go. Heroes. Yeah, so Heroes, Hero not Heroes not and Zinc. Uh, uh, not Zink, Cowie were in Group B, right? Now they're they're both out of Group B, and so Zulus and uh, Armo are in instead, right? Because of how well they played in the Group C match, and now Cervantes is in a position where he might lose to both. This he is could. really bad for Cervantes. I mean, he should be fine though in terms of point. He currently uh, in the rankings of 16 points. Uh, right. Him taking last here would put him at 20 overall, which should be enough. Right. He, should be enough. It, it, it should be enough. It, it, I think it's completely uh, enough for him to be in, but it's who he plays against. This is true. Right? This it's his seeding. seeding. His seeding could could completely make or break uh, th this BTL, uh, the, the, the finals for him, right? Because it's all about who he plays. And if he plays players that are a lot stronger than him, instead of people who are maybe like V's, who's maybe a bit stronger, but not who, who he can beat on a good day, right? Look, look at this, though. I, I, I don't... I, just ugh. to interrupt, look at what happened in the rankings. Just I see that. I see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I, I realize what you're saying about Cervantes, but at the same time, the top one, top two, we saw Zing uh in first on map one we saw him in first on map two but at the end of the map three he actually like those bat last two rounds for zinc cost him first place pieces like uh compared to like Cervantes, really doing who it. might not be too happy about where he gets seated into but uh, <gasps> that's what i'm talking about fees sorry sorry man oh. uh, the jinx i think it's the pressure <laughs> i think it's the pressure though it's not you it's not you it, i think it's really the pressure right he sees himself is. up in first place and he's like oh my god i could do this right oh my goodness i could i could be up against a player who i'm really favored against right and i mean zinc obviously wants to get in that position too and it's all down to this last map here bony and oh no zulus he might give that position back to to V's actually he does as uh, Zulus is now in last. Armo, he could get second place though and cement himself closer to Zulus. There you go. Those six points could be very, very good for him. Cervantes in third gets farther away from Armo, but it's still good because he still catches up to third place, which is Zulus, who finally finishes there. And V's coming in fourth. That's five points lost to Zinc. And that does mean Zinc takes it back. Two points yeah. ahead right now. Three rounds remaining for uh, Beast to uh, retake that first place. Like, it's definitely possible. I, I, I think Beast just, you know, like, it was just unfortunate, right, in that transition. If it wasn't for that transition, I think it would have been a far closer fight uh, than it was right now. <gasps> uh, Armo crashing that... out. Armo. <laughs> Armo is in third. Uh, he, he surpassed Zulus in points, and now he's crashed out there. If, if Zulus, oh no, Zulus also crashed out. Cervantes having a big moment as well. So, oh, it's going to be a fight between Zinc and V's here. There's two fights going on at the same time. They're both exciting me. Boney, how are you not like absolutely out of your chair right now, standing up like cheering I, as if I, as I, if it's the euro i i didn't want to say anything but there's like a fan on me because i am just getting a bit too hot <laughs> from casting like i might not sound it but trust me i am feeling the tension right now zinc looking to pick up the number one as like the back and forth was going on uh this does allow zinc to large make the gap even larger but even still um Vsys is going to have to get a bit lucky, right? If this is what's going to happen, and Vs maybe overtakes Zinc uh, for the next two rounds, Zinc with uh, two uh, number two spots uh, would tie it up, and I'm pretty sure that in a tiebreaker situation, he would come out in first. So uh, Vs <sighs> is just going to have to, one, drive first place uh, times, and two, hope that Zinc makes a mistake along the way um, for his sake. But, I mean, he doesn't... Uh, all he has... Uh, control over is those first places and making sure he doesn't 
gets himself psyched out. But look at that. Top tree very close to each other right now. Feast, Armo, and Sync right now fighting it out. Armo obviously also wanting some uh, sweet, sweet points. And not wanting uh, all these nerds to take it from him. He wants his own nerd <coughs> points. Uh, but Zink coming in. Better oh, wow. battering happening. Stays inside on the sausage block, but not the best landing. Armo and Vis again overtaking. Zink somewhat keeping up, but not quite there. <gasps> but Vis just drives into the wall, eating up all that speed. That's the risk with sausage blocks. You lose speed that you had. Uh, I think Armo just solidified third place. I think he just won third place with that. There's no way for Zulus to catch up to him. Yeah. I, uh, let's see. Seven points uh, different. Seven uh, points. He seven need points. Armo to DNF. I don't think that's happening. He need to win the round and he need Armo to DNF to, to get third place. I, that's not happening. Armo is getting third place, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's all down to the big fight between Zinc and Viz, I do believe. How many points separate uh, them six? It should be, uh, it's going to be extremely tough. I don't see it happening Ooh. right now. If Viz gets first place and Zinc DNFs, it's tough. Oh, That's no, it. it's eight That's points. It. I thought it was six. So Zinc is, oh. where is Zinc? Where is Zinc? Where is Zinc? He is oh, way Zinc's behind. Oh, far behind. Seven He's seconds. not in DNF territory. He is He's not in DNF territory. No, no. So, Feast right now, oh, as I was saying in first place, but allowing himself to be overtaken as he attacks the corner a bit too hard there. Uh, finding himself in fourth right now, Armo doing the exact <coughs> same thing with Feast did the last round. Uh, Feast looking like having enough speed, stays in. Uh -huh. Maybe over Could Cervantes, Cervantes win his first round? Yeah, Cervantes! Cervantes. Oh he wins his first round! And Let's with go, Sir that, Vontes. It doesn't matter what Zink does. He decides, you know what, we'll take the two points. It's fine. But Zink picks up the points, even though he was behind at the start of this map. He reclaims his number one position and wins. We have a tie game. for fourth place. Whew. There is going to be a tiebreaker for fourth place. And I think it's going to go to Cervantes because Zulus didn't win a single map round. I and Cervantes right. just won the map round. So the tiebreaker will go to Cervantes. Zulus was in third at the start of this map, and this map just ruined him, brought him down to fifth. Uh, I got the, uh, the 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 spreadsheet up for everybody curious. Cervantes getting fourth. Thank you, SRK, for the update. That does mean he will gain himself a nice four points in the, the ranking. Oh. Three points. Uh, but the surprise... Zulis. The surprise is the Armo, I, I would honestly Armo say. Great, Armo did great. He, like, it's, it's weird. And, like, he had his moments, right? He initially started off great. Map 2, he fell apart. And then, you know, like, come back king, right? That's, that's Come back king. He, he had a bit of, uh, you know, like, he had that slump, right? Imagine, like, some, uh, I don't know, some Rocky movie, right? Things are going great, and then he gets his ass kicked, like, I need to train again. You get the montage happening, and right now, you know, like, you get map four, and there he's back again, though. Still not as consistent, right? I feel like uh, number one and two was pretty much done and dusted as we uh, finished up map two. Uh, but regardless... A uh, great fight for uh, third place. Armos picking, uh, Armo picking that one up. I want to say Armos. Why do I want to say Armos? I don't know. <laughs> uh, is that well, from Zink a game? I want to say that's Zelda. I want to say that's Zelda. Is, is Zink, Zink gets... You, you, may, you literally just made me say Zlink. <laughs> Link, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we have Zink, Zink we have gets Armos. First we have... <laughs> place. <laughs> Honestly, that's that's pretty good, though, for, for Zink. But we expected him to completely dominate at first, right? And V's really made this a fight. V's brought it over to Zink, and that is a great sign for V's. He played amazing in this map. Had Zink made just one or two more mistakes, and if V's didn't actually crash into that uh, into the side barrier there and come yeah. in fourth place, I think he might have been in contention to completely upset Zink there. Uh, Armo completely upsetting Cervantes. I think C Cervantes was pretty good in the original Group B stage, right? He came in yeah. third place behind V's, uh, in fourth place behind V's and Zink and Cowie. But he was really close to V's. This time around, he was nowhere close to V's. V's took it up to, to the next level, and it looked like Cervantes really just crumbled under the pressure there. Luckily, he got fourth, right? Because of that win. 
But yeah. that was really a fluky win. Had he come in any other position, Zulis gets fourth place. Yep, uh, definitely be the case. I'm pretty sure, because for those uh, also curious, we uh, for Group C and Group B, uh, we had two players each. Uh, so those have been combined, and therefore uh, you can see happening right now. Match four um, column, uh, we have Kuzi picking up the number one spot, uh, even though he was in Group D initially, because putting them together, uh, he wins Group C instead. Uh, we got Redix picking up the four there, uh, which puts him in 16th place. Uh, let's see, Teddy not making it in, not enough points, unfortunately. He did come in, uh, even though, the, because he wasn't there for match three, I suppose, he just you know, wasn't able to qualify. If he did, he would have been qualified, I'm pretty sure. Um, Viregas also playing along and just picking up two points, but he was not in contention to get in the playoffs. So at this point, we do have all the people that are expected to qualify uh, in playoffs into playoffs. And right now, Group A is uh, uh, going in it for the money. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I kind of need SRK for this one to... Uh... <laughs> Clear up what's going on in Group A, um, depending on placements uh, happening. Yeah, if SRK, you could uh, unmute yourself and just uh, give us a little update there. Uh, you're, you, there he is. Yes, uh, so at the moment now, the last match is going to happen. And it's uh, going to be a pretty tight fight for the prize money top three positions. It's a bit having a very nice advantage at the moment with over 10 points gap. So, bits. I think Reedy, if he wants to take it for the regular season, as well as the extra prize money over Bits, he really needs to dominate, and Bits really needs to have a bad match. And the same tied positions are, even though it's uh, shuffled up, including the Group B matches at the moment, it's actually really close between me and Dvinua for third place. So in the scenario, for example, if Dvinua has a bad match and I have a good one, then I can potentially overtake him. And... Uh, Maybe Kaspa can step it up as well, but then Kaspa basically needs to just win everything. And Dvinio, it's basically all depends on Dvinio's performance on who gets uh, third place here. Maybe even uh, maybe even Dvinio can, on other hand, can uh, snipe even Creedy then for second. That would be something. Yeah, that is possible. If you There's some very really unique one. possibilities that can yeah. happen. Of course, seeds matter as well. That's going to yep. be coming up for playoffs in two weeks. But the main focus here is going to be the prize money. Since top three players from the regular season or group stage get a prize money bonus. So, well, there you go. So, it's uh, going to be match. a fight for the top positions, yeah. That sounds amazing. I mean, we'll, we'll be having players coming in uh, as we go. And in the meantime, we'll take a little bit of a break. We'll allow you to enjoy some fat, fat beatsies. Uh, so stick around. Final match of the day happening, Group A. And, you know, it's it's a money match. So let's see who comes out ahead and hits top three. See you in just a little bit.
everyone to the Baltic Track Mania League. I am Boney and with me is Quantum Def Cat. It's it pretty good, right? Like, yes, I might we, have we, we've, got, we've got a battle. Yeah, I think I'm maxed out. You, you, you just peaked with that entry, yeah. by the way. <laughs> this is why I try to not go too loud. Uh, but yeah, no, we have a group A coming in for you. Uh, we have a band coming in, uh, Mascalini being the one banned out of it. So uh, a bit of a um, trend happening. <laughs> not a big surprise. No, not all a right. big surprise at all. I mean, this is what pretty much, you know, last uh, round Group A was playing, same thing was happening, and now they did it again. Uh, there is a bit of a change, right, in uh, Group A, Kawi uh, being in, but... Uh, Instead of Oris, but... Oris yeah, because Caspa yeah. is still in sixth. Yep. Which is very good for for for, I I would say Zinc right. Zinc is really going to benefit from, uh, from his pal, B Caspa being in Group A still, uh, with the fact that he is, is he is he slowest right? He didn't have a good time. Maybe maybe he has that Rocky montage right. Exactly. <laughs> Rocky montage for for Caspa. We'll play he the comes music back in our in. heads, you know, copyright right. and whatnot. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, that, that's uh, yeah, all yeah, I can do. Yeah, is exactly. uh, we get started? We're in. We're live. Round one, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a close one. Bitsy obviously big lead, right? It's um, as uh, SOK said previously before the break. It's uh, uh Vigno, really, uh, the person who is on the bubble right now. Because for those not in the know. If you get first place after the Swiss round, overall standings, you get 30 euros. Second place, 20 euros. And third place is 10 sweet, sweet euros. Get yourself a pizza from that one. Mm -mm -mm. But at the same time, I mean, it's, it's earnings, you know, so still money. But this, you know, like this is small change compared to winning the playoffs. You know, like, there's, there's still plenty of money waiting right there. It's a bit of an early reward for those making it in. But we see some players falling off in the RPG section. Just Kawi left with Critty until Critty hits the side and Kaspa picking up his number two spot. That's gonna feel good. That's gonna feel good. That's that's gonna feel very good for these two players. One who was in group B up until now, and the other one was in last place last time. So yeah. the, this is great momentum for both. Great momentum. Oof. But a bit of an uh, unfortunate one for SRK ending as late as possible, really. Like, just a few seconds later and he would not be able to uh, 
to finish it up right there. We lost a lot of players along the way, as I was explaining what is on the line, what is at stake, so apologies for right. that. Right. Uh, Davinho is in third, correct? And SRK is in fourth? If I in remember correctly? Points, yeah, in terms yeah. I mean, in it terms looks points, different yeah. now if you were to look at the Master Sheet due to uh, Group B, C, and D at this point, having already been played out. Uh, makes it look kind of odd, but don't be fooled by that. There are still points to be gained right here in, uh, in Group A. Kriti and Kaspa fighting it out at the front as Kavi, Kavi and SRK are trying to just, just get in between. SRK doing just that. Kawi just a bit behind. Kaspa not the best landing right there. Man, this is going to be a pixel finish if this is going to keep up. SRK bongs the reactor though. Oh, unfortunate. And it's just Kriti and Kaspa at the front right now. Kriti picking up number one, Kaspa number two, Jinyo. Number three, SRK, four, Bitsy, five, and where do we have him? Kawi in sixth place from zero to zero in this case, I suppose. Uh, picking up yeah, nine for... points over two rounds. Uh-oh, uh how unfortunate. Kaspa in first place, look at that. Yeah, Kaspa getting himself uh, right up there. I don't know how long he'll stay up there. Hey, could you imagine if Kaspa wins this after... I, I... Oh, man. That would be Ka badass. I'm not gonna lie. That uh, maybe maybe we should start like a, a betting ring, you know, like we, we <laughs> just uh, and, and just see like, oh, well, is Caspa going to come in first place? Right. What are the odds of that? What, what in 20? Right. Let's say it will pay you back 20 times your bet if, right, uh, if right. Caspa comes in first. So uh, honestly, Caspa hasn't won a round, but he, he's right up there. He wants to win those rounds. He's got second place two times in a row. And let's see if he can get second place once again or something better. But right now he is currently in fifth place as Kawi uh, and Kriti fight it out. That's yeah, okay. No, that's okay. Coming in up front, actually. I mean, he he decided to hang in just a little bit and decided, you know what? I've had enough. Let me just drive up ahead. I'll catch you guys at the finish line as he does pick up the number one spot. Kriti and Kawi rounding out the second and third spots right there. Cosmo four, Bitsy fifth, Jingo, Zinho sixth. It's a uh, a lot, a bit, bit, bit of a closer one. This one, and fifty-eight point eight nine coming in for SRK. Solid time. Very nice time indeed. As uh, I mean, this map is a very mixed bag, right? It's not like a, a consistent map for anyone. And I'm surprised that the top players don't want to ban it compared to Masculine, right? Masculine is just really hard and can be somewhat buggy but this map is uh it's, it doesn't seem to be consistent for anyone in particular right it seems like everyone has uh their their best times pretty close to each other right bitsy obviously yeah. being the fastest player but he's not as consistent as uh i think he'd wish he could be pretty falling neither is pretty well. yeah no he hit the side there which bitsy did previous round this time though bitsy at the top like, he isn't having the greatest of times today so far. Maybe this is the first round where he'll be able to really put a stamp on it and uh, show his expertise and skill on the track itself. Still in the lead right now with Taui and Vigno trying to take over Do Caspa. Better exit speed. Maybe even able to snipe Taui, but he does not. Oh. Very close to doing so. Bitsy picking up a 58.7 in terms of time. Solid time indeed. Ooh, Castro was very close though. Very close to picking up second place there. Sniping Davino right there. Everyone was only uh, separated by one tenth in second to fourth place, but Caspa overtaking Davino, just not getting that second place. It was so close though. Yeah. Oh, what a turn by Caspa there. Oh man, it's 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 a tough map, right? Just this uh, dirt start where you want to make sure all your gears are set up correctly like this turn right here is is a bit of a lazy corner um but even then you know you want to make sure your speed is all good and dandy you've got your booster section coming in where again lazy corners but it you, you just see it happen right just players driving into the sides uh just simply miscalculating their speed or uh attacking the corner a bit too hard and just to finish things up on this RPG section right now, I'm, I'm happy to see all the players uh, being able to keep up. Look at that. Like, three tenths of a second, four tenths at this point, between number one and five. SRK. Trying to get a, keep a second spot as Critty is just solidifying that number one Caspa. 
bit of a tighter <laughs> jump right there, but oof. Critty just like had a heart attack, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he just decided, you know, <laughs> what happened? No, no, did you see what happened to, Cr to Critty? Like, you, you saw him fly, right? Yeah, but yeah. The reason he flew is because he hit the, the, uh, the bar of the checkpoint oh. of the finish. And he still made it in despite oh, hitting feels... it. That's why he went flying the way he oh, did. Man. And so that's why he wrote that. He just, oh my goodness, the heart <laughs> attack he must have gotten there, right? Very, As, oh, that man, was a pretty good time, clenching. too. Yeah. With that butt clenching. The entire body just clenched, you know? Like, uh, <laughs> he just seized. It's just what it feels like to die. Like, oh, no, we made it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, we're good. <laughs> but yeah, he picks oh, up the number goodness. one spot. But look at that. Point differentials right now, not too big. But what we uh, were talking about, right, theorizing, uh, Vigno, uh, if he were to end up in last place, did... This could open up the door for uh, people to get a number three uh, spot in overall rankings. And I mean, the point differential isn't that big per se. But no, it definitely last isn't. Th 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 that first Same. map was so inconsistent. Everyone is sandwiched together, right? Uh, uh, right now, uh, th think of it like an accordion. Everyone is close in together right now. And I think this map is going to really stretch it out because we're mm -hmm. going to see uh, uh, probably a player or two who... Uh, really practice this one more than the others. I would think uh, a more consistent player here, even if uh, they they aren't as fast as theoretically Bitsy, because Bitsy is the fastest on every map. Uh, Kawi it definitely shows that he he could be a part of this. He's definitely uh, up there. He's deserving of Group A. I'm surprised uh, that he he wasn't there uh, last week, but after a whole week of practice, he is definitely showing us that uh, he deserves the group a placement caspa though really getting his mind back in check and his skills have shown us that uh, the jump, though. that last map and this ma and this round so far really showing us that he deserves the group a status as well he almost fell down to group b but uh, this this showing right now from caspa is amazing he is doing a fantastic job i mean all the players making the jumps right now as you can see just a half second between him and srk it's coming down to this final slide down critty attacking hard but not enough to overtake bitsy picking up the number two in fact even though critty was right behind Caspa right now that's uh solid stuff for Caspa. like it's it's it, i'm very happy to see him just being a bit more in his uh element at this point like he he definitely didn't seem too happy about which makes sense uh, his performance in round three which wasn't good right simple as that he even said it himself he wasn't happy about it and even though i just jinxed it for him sorry <clears throat> caspa uh it's uh while he is in first place right now in points uh he, he's gotta have to like i don't know somehow i hope everybody doesn't make the jump and then he does but i uh, i highly doubt it i highly doubt it apologies again to caspa as S the the, the player though that surprises me the most it, first of all caspa right bitsy where's bitsy Bitsy yeah. is uh, getting paypal right now, it seems. Uh, a lot of money to, to <laughs> not finish in the, uh, in the top positions. He's nowhere near the top. Critty, this could be a great chance for him. And with the, the, the first seven rounds really going his way, he's got himself a bit of a gap to, 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 to his rival, right? To his bitter, bitter rival as he gets first place there. SRK getting second. Davinio right behind SRK. You'll see both of these guys fighting it out together. I'm sure for the entirety of the match. Critty though, he's gonna be sniffing for that win, and he's definitely got a bit of a gap now thanks to Caspa's uh, big mistake. But he's down in second place anyway, right? Bitsy right now though, was he in fourth or was he in fifth? I didn't see it properly. Actually. Um, I'm pretty sure he got fourth place on the previous one. He is no, no, overall, in the overall, overall, fourth as well. place. Oh yeah, yeah. He is in fourth place, Kawi uh, two points behind, and uh, Zvigno still not really getting out of that sixth spot right now. Very, he's still uh, close enough, though. If he wins yeah, one round, yeah, he, he's yeah. back in it. He's back in it. But, I mean, that that does mean he has to, you know, win, win, win rounds. Uh, and currently, third place, duking out with SRK for uh, number two. Looking like he is in a good spot to reclaim some points right now. Bitsy, though, commanding lead over the rest. Uh, Let's see if he is able to keep it up as we go into the final section. Let's see if he gets the two drifts going on just fine. Looking like great lines overall. 
Oh, Jvinho almost crashing uh, into the finish line, but he does manage to, to pop it on in. How he was already falling behind. And look who comes in last. Pretty. From Pretty. number one. Still number one. But SRK now taking the number two spot. Right, because of the Caspa, who actually was in third place, gets overtaken at the end by both players. He didn't really do the best final turn there. And, oh no, Caspa, uh, losing uh, his ground there. He had quite a bit of... Um, He's tied up now as well, uh, of, yeah. Yeah, it's all tied up. Look at that. Like, the top four positions, it all comes down to who wins this round, really. Uh, wh what will separate the players even more with Critty in first and Bitsy in second. This is what we'd expect. But behind, it's all the mm. fighting in Critty behind out. as Critty is out. And Casper uh, jumps just a little bit too high and he will fall down to fifth place. SRK, he needs first place. And with Davinho in last, this is his time. This is his moment. Does he keep up though? Like, look at Bitsy just attacking, going Bitsy? a bit later on the drift right there, but not enough oh. to overtake SRK. Still dropping in some 52s right now. It's another eight points. Is that enough to overtake Critty? It is plenty to overtake Critty as he rolls oh, in slowly no. into sixth place. Oh, that oh poor Critty. This is what so SRK we saw was Caspa for. in the lead, right? Caspa in the lead, yeah. loses it, is now in fourth. We see Critty in the lead, loses it, now in third, right? And Bitsy, well, the, the moment I, I complained about Bitsy's performance, suddenly he turns up and he's like, oh, wait, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I got my boosters, it's cool. Just, just needed the snack. <laughs> oh, uh, he, he was driving with one hand, obviously, right? Not, not, exactly. You, you, you made him use two hands, right? <laughs> you have unleashed my full power. Oh, oh no, no. SRK. SRK. That was a sick uh, grind, but grinding is not what pays out the big bucks right now. It's driving Curse well. of first place. Ooh, it's pretty. the curse of first place. Pretty much Anyone who's in first crashing, place is, is dead. Yeah. It's, it's very much a back and forth, like Big C, Bitsy right now wanting to overtake that first place again, but I wouldn't do that if I were him, because he's just going to end up in sixth place on the next map, right? I mean, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> that, that's how it works, right? <laughs> that's how Mafia works. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's number uh, one spot. Let's we go. What a sick in. map, though. Bitsy. Up the oh, oh, wow. Cuspa, what you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, well, SRK decides, you know what, if you're not taking five <sighs> plays, fifth place i'm taking it <laughs> oh but a keep an eye on those two points well. look at that it's keep an eye four. on those two points it's a really good time by bitsy he really really uh pumped it out there uh it's very 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 close to his personal best which is world record obviously right, right. because bitsy yeah. has a world record on each of these maps uh but um when it, when it comes down to it, Bitsy really with a slow start, and he was in fourth coming into the map. He's now in first place. But we had four different leaders in that one map, right? We had Critty, right. we had we had Caspa, we had SRK, and now we have Bitsy. As we go on to intertwined, does Critty have an advantage? Yes. Period. Being his own map. Rigged. 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 That's all I'm going to say. Usually it's giveaways that I call rigged, but this time I just call it rigged because it's his map. And, and, you know, like that's that's how how it works, right? You made the map, so therefore you are the best, period. Well, speaking of no? giveaways, what do you take away from these first two maps? Um, it's, um, uh, I feel like, n I'm not sure if it's nerves or if it's too much risking that is going on that is causing these, these point differentials, right? They are very very close to each other very much more than they were in round three right round three as we were heading into map number three there was already you know like clearly going on a, a fight between first and second and third and fourth right uh, there was a lot more infighting this time not at all it's uh anyone's game still yes Vigno right now 18 points behind overall uh still is to be able to just fight his way back in like it's not impossible yeah, he, at all i think he could still win honestly because he does average three points around at the current moment and bitsy being in first place only at 4.8 right so if you right. really step it up on this map in the next one i'm sure that that average could go up to five right and that could yes. possibly beat out bitsy that that could completely ruin this this 
this game for everyone here and it just depends who shows up on this map right now it seems like it's going to be davinio yeah. and i remember davinio pre being pretty good on this map right uh v's was also pretty good sadly we won't see him in this in this match he's but uh, davinio now. looking like the clear winner of this first round as he barely makes it in but we'll still be ahead by two and a half tenths I mean, who are we missing right now? Wait, who's not? Th wait, what? Where? What? What? Is it Cowie? Cowie? What? What are you? Cowie? What? Wanted to respawn? Like, just uh, <laughs> you gotta unbind these keys, all right? You gotta, you gotta unbind these retire <laughs> keys. It's, it's. I, I've honestly unbind, uh, unbinded <laughs> my my delete key whenever I play Cup of the Day because it's happened yeah. to be twice. It's, it's, it's very, it's very simple to just do that. Like I find myself doing that as well. And I'll just like, oh no, what did I just do? Did I just retire? Oh no. <laughs> so very unfortunate because like at this point, the points really matter a lot. I mean, right now it's a bit seen pretty right now fighting out the first and second place, but Vigno and Caspar are just a few tenths of a second behind on the two leaders at the moment. Uh, uh, it's gonna come down to the wire. Good slides overall. Bitsy and Critty just nobody really given away an inch, and it's all gonna come down to this finish. Finish looking pretty good. Everyone in top. Oh, what a nice it. time! Fifty point. Wow, Bitsy. Sheesh, that is a insanely good time indeed. Bitsy solidifying his lead right now as SRK drops down to third place from second. Critty right now in second place. I mean, Vigno actually uh, clawing his way back uh, due to Kawi. Again, Kawi had to DNF. Like, he had to DNF. He accidentally DNF'd. Um, and it cost him his fifth place. Which, uh, this is. It this is. It hurts, but Kawi definitely deserving of this Group A stage, right? Uh, gr yeah. Group A. I, th I think this is how it's going to stand, right? This The top six, I think, is. Perfect as it is currently. Caspa looking really, really bad, but it, it, it doesn't change. I, 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 I it, he looked really bad. He's now right up there in the fight, right? If he wins a few rounds here, uh, beating out Bitsy, right? Bitsy having a few bad rounds here and there. Uh, if he can beat him out from time to time, that will be good and dandy, but he's down in fifth place. Bitsy will win the round, and Cowie gets fourth. This is good for him, as he wants to get past Davinio, but sadly, Davinio was ahead of him. Look at all those times as well. Very, very close to each other, and it's... Uh, I mean, Intertwined uh, is already uh, a track that I feel leads to these, you know, these close matches. Like, Critty right there, the only reason he fell behind uh, was, like, one small touch. He just simply touched the, the dirt there, and it just... He just fell out of the group. He just fell out of the group entirely there, which uh, does hurt your chances. The players clearly are just way more, um, in you know, entwined into intertwined uh, in terms of skill, right? You can really tell the players have put in a lot of time to, to understand this uh, this track right now, and it's it's leading to these these beautiful close races right now. Right now, Bitsy, Pretty, and SRK fighting <laughs> it out for number one. Ooh, what happened to Caspa there? Kaspa uh, flew. Uh, he he went into the stratosphere, hitting uh, the checkpoint. Oh, As a, look at this fight! Look at this fight! Look oh. at the front! The top three! Oh my god! Just one tense between <laughs> the three Bitsy. players. Oh my word! What a finish! Great round all around. Handshakes, firm handshakes. Uh, as Kaspa oh, rounds wow. out the top six players. Let's see what this does to the standings. Ooh, Kaspa now tied up with Jingyo. Oh that no, the, this is the Vin the is really strong on this map. Stronger than he was on the other maps. Oh, yeah. Kawi, uh, he doesn't not, he doesn't seem to be as competitive as the others on this map either, or as consistently competitive as the others. SRK, eh, he's pretty decent, right? But he hasn't won a round yet. Oh, um, and you're looking at Bitsy and, and Critty, right? And Bitsy and Critty, they they are doing pretty well. The I would say is the third best on this map so far and Caspa he really needs to prove himself he needs this round he needs to at least get second here second place is crucial for Caspa and it's actually crucial for Bitsy as well to get first place to keep Critty behind him but Critty really creeping up close Caspa trying to win this round he's got a little bit more speed could he win it out he's a little oh, bit wider Caspa, he doesn't finish no. Caspa. Caspa, 
No. That's for plus. Zero six to zero. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Oh <sighs> no. That it's 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 tough. It's really tough. Intertwined, and you know, like you can see, it, there's a bit like there's a bigger gap right now. Um, first place and sixth place were were very close at the start, but yeah, this was definitely uh, more of a map for uh, Bitsy and uh, than it was for the rest. Really, like he solidified his number one spot, and we find ourselves on the final track of the day, Vingus. Final, not only the final track of the day, it's the final match of the day. And as I, uh, you know, like, uh, Vigno was uh, rising up through these, uh, through the rankings right now, we know his ice slide is phenomenal on this one, right? We've seen him just make up like, <laughs> half a second, maybe even a second or more if the slide is bad for whoever is in front of him, which True. is amazing ice slides. So I expect uh, nothing but uh, good times from him on that ice slide. Though, I mean, there's still the rest of the track, and it's, uh, it's going to be the question if he's going to be able to keep up with the rest on that. Yeah, it looks like uh, Critty and uh, and Bitsy, they are pushing to the point where when it comes to that final ice slide, they are o over-exaggerating it, right? And that's that's what caused uh, Critty to, to make a few mistakes. And Bitsy as well on 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 this map beforehand uh, when they did play, and I think that's why Bitsy actually wanted to remove it. I don't know if you remember, this was mm -hmm. his pick for yeah. the ban, and uh, no no one else nope. wanted this ban, right? People because said, everyone seems to like map. this map. Yeah, yeah, ban the finish map. No, 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 no. It, it doesn't feel finished. Oh. Th that's why they wanted to ban it. As we get into this round here, <laughs> the last. Five rounds are underway here. Do you see Bitsy losing his first place? Because it is possible. 14 points. It's uh, it's definitely in the realm of possibility. I uh, would 14, say no. 14. Wait, did we just have two players crashing out? Both Critty and Kawi just yoinked out of the stratosphere. Away, blinking out. Mm -hmm. Tano snapped. And Bitsy picking up the number one. SRK number That's two. That's a pretty good round. That is a uh, very good... I mean, it could have been a lot faster times if it wasn't for uh, <laughs> the two uh, players, Kriti and Kali, just getting snapped out in the uh, slalom uh, section right there. It, that slalom section is a bit of uh, Yeah, it's a funky one, right? You can risk a lot, but uh, yeah, I have had it a, a few times as well where you just... You think like your line is good and then you just hit one of the cinder blocks right below the grass walls. It's... Uh, yeah, oh, it Kriti! That was Critty there. He's out. Oh. He, he he's clipped of the wall. He will be two seconds behind. It's not a, a little bit more, and that's really bad for him. I think the pressure is definitely getting to him because SRK is in second place now, and Critty falling down to third place. It, I don't think it'll mean much in the end for his placement. I think he gets second place no matter what because uh, Davinio uh, will get enough points to, to solidify third, just not uh, second place. Oh. As uh, SRK coming in, he's oh, got the speed, but he's the way slide. too wide. Oh no, Ooh. the slide is good wow. enough. <laughs> but again, look at look at that. By the way, Vigno, we already said his ice slide was amazing. We didn't even see him in contention yet. He just pulls off all this time, takes second place, uh, despite you know like not even being in the running at the the turnaround. Up until that point, yeah. And that was sick. the reemergence of Caspa. This is really looking good for him and looking very bad for Cowie. I expected Cowie to finish in fifth, fourth place, right? But uh, right now, SRK ex uh, exceeding my expectations, right? Caspa absolutely exceeding, I think, everyone's expectations, including himself. Uh, he's been absolutely on it. And I mean, despite the fact that he's in last at the current moment, I think that he he should be proud of himself for how he started off these rounds because everyone else uh, was very inconsistent at the start. Let's look at Bitsy into the final. Oh, oh, oh. That scared me. <laughs> that scared me a lot too. He's a little wide. He'll end up in third. What is this? Oh my! We don't have word. a 45 time, and Critty will steal that away. Oh. And SRK he he gets sniped as well, and Caspa. Coming in last place, this is not the best for him because Davinio starting to really get away with that 
position, but look at the top three. Look at that 12 points separating Bitsy from SRK, and with Critty actually winning that round, that is so crucial for Critty to get back into second place here. I, I completely thought he was out of this round, but it looks like he wasn't. He SRK. Was not, no. Oof. I mean, SRK, like, when he, he definitely looks like he is able to pop it off on this one, and if he can drive those low 46s, uh, yeah, no, he can, he can find himself in top two right now. Falling behind, unfortunately, is Kriti, Kaspa, and Kawi are fighting it out. Bitsy deciding to uh, put his weight in as well into the turnaround. Let's see how Kawi's slide is. Ooh, having to slow down and correct himself as Kriti's line is, like, way tighter. Like, look at that. Four tenths of Critty a second. Kriti with the Just... first 45. Oh, not in my and... house, he says. Oh, oh wow. Man, this is like some WWE nonsense. What's <laughs> going oh, on here? Oh, no. <laughs> is SRK throwing? Because this is the final oh, round here. No. He could have gotten third place. It doesn't matter because he would not have passed the Vigno in points because the Vigno is in fourth. But second place would really solidify that fourth place for him. And I think he would have been more proud of himself if he got fourth place here. But he'll need Critty to finish in that least fourth place in this round. And for himself to finish in first, it doesn't look likely as he is completely in fourth place. And Critty's behind him, but let's see how, what happens here as Bitsy will go on into the ice slide. This is not his favorite part, but he gets it very tight Ooh, and he seems nice. to be winning this Ooh, round. That's what the is this first time? 45. He beats out Critty's <laughs> personal best and he's two tenths behind his own oh, personal best. Wow. What a time by Bitsy showing off the muscles, flexing them as Critty will take second place. SRK comes in third place overall. Davinho getting fourth place, Caspa getting fifth, uh, the resurgence of Caspa in the first two maps here, there, they were very good, he just could not keep up with the players as Bitsy really came into his own, Critty uh, making a lot less mistakes than he was doing at the beginning, SRK doing a lot less mistakes than he was doing at the beginning, Davinho uh, making big mistakes and Cowie making big mistakes as well in those final two maps. Uh, the, both the everyone was in contention up until map three when yep. Bitsy, Critty, and SRK really started to just pop off. And well, that pop off at the end there by Bitsy, uh, a little bit of a celebrational. I mean, he, he uh, told him to get spin. out. He told him to get out, and I mean, he he didn't even like. <laughs> you know, he said it, but at the same time, was you know like, you know what? Never mind. I'm getting out before he, they even realized he said it. Right? He just pretty challenged. <laughs> He challenged Bitsy, right, by saying, not in my house, uh, with <laughs> with that 45-6. And that was an incredible time in itself. Yeah. Bitsy sees this and he just says, you know what? I'm going to just pop off real quick of time faster than you've ever done. And he does the 45-3. That is an incredible, incredible round there by Bitsy. He yeah. wins it out and he'll win out uh, the 30 euros for I mean, uh, getting is... first place in seeding. A sweet 30 bucks uh, we have uh the points being updated at the top and we have our top three as well uh, we have bitsy let's see 53 critty has 30 let's see it's the number three spot that's what it's all about that's right. what matters because we already know bitsy would take number one and with that he picks up a sweet 30 euros uh, for his efforts as he moves into the playoffs as well uh, all these players are in playoffs right this was a bit of a money match number two critty Picking up 20 bucks, 20 euros. And who picks up the number three spot? It looks like it will be Divino. Yes. I think it is Divino. Yes. D Divino getting $10 redos, as uh, the Australians would say, uh, getting <laughs> okay. themselves oh. up there. I, 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 oh. You know, I, I, I believe you, man. I'm not that, you know, like attuned to the Australian market. You know, it's, 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 it's an actual thing. I, I'm not. Uh -huh. I, 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 I would never <laughs> lie to you, Pony. Oh, Come on. I know you wouldn't. I know you would. I, 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 in, in Quantum Def Cat, we trust, as, uh, as, as we say. But yeah, I would never lie. I would never be wrong. I, yeah, I, I, the more you say it, the less I trust it. I, <laughs> uh, we'll get the players sorted out in playoffs here as well, um, right? Uh, but yeah, we have our top 16 players for you right now as well. We have Bitsy, 
Critty, Zvigno, SRK, Sink, Kaspa, Kawi, Fi, Cervantes, Armo, Zulus, uh, Lele, Danik, Aris, Kuzi, and Redix. Those are your 16 wow. players going into the playoffs and the money in the playoffs is a bit 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 higher bit higher let me just let me get that on the screen uh, for myself so i know what what i'm saying you know, you know i need to make sure i don't uh, say the wrong do message. you want to point out koozie did not play at all week one he did not he did not and so koozie even then getting himself in there he will go up right he will go up normally you'd see him in the group a uh, in group one so watch out i think cowie next uh, in two weeks right is the final weeks. yes we have right. uh, there's so uh, two weeks cowie i think will will show us the level uh of of play that we expect right there there's a reason why he's in m&m right why he was signed to m&m in the first place mm -hmm. and he will show us why i do i do believe um caspa i think he played amazingly in the first two maps and if he can show us that once again i think he could get himself up into uh contention for uh the top five once more srk he's gonna try and get into the top three he's disappointed that davinio beat him out davinio what a what a player there right he started out in december and within seven months of playing he is already this good at the game and uh, fourth place scores uh, too strong it's too strong <laughs> the the the, cop the copy paste came true <laughs> that is, the uh, joke so. is that in every single baltic event i get fourth place in baltic uh, trackmania cut i got fourth fourth baltic trackmania league beta season i got fourth uh, spring season i got fourth both oh. in regular season and playoffs, and now here we got in regular season or group stage fourth again. So uh, <sighs> this time fourth place means twenty euros. Um, so uh, you won't, you won't that, walk. That's for playoffs only. Uh, yeah, I mean you have to do it in playoffs again, yeah, basically. But, I mean, you obviously you it, you're gonna get those twenty yeah. euros, right? Obviously oh. you're you're. <laughs> Obviously, you can't let us down, SRK, right? You, you, you won't mess it up that badly, right? Well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, with Koozie back into the mix here, we might see some upsets for sure in, in these playoffs. We might uh, see Cowie back as well. Like I said, these two weeks are going to be crucial for him. Caspa, same thing. If he can show us more of what he did uh, earlier on, yourself, SRK, if you could may maybe just get a little bit more consistent on these maps, uh, especially um, the finish map, if that one does not get uh, vetoed out, then this is th it could be a very crucial game. Finish map won't make an appearance in the playoffs. No. Will it not? Oh, it's it was banned. voted out from this yeah. week, and it F. won't be a make appearance, and there will be two new maps coming in for playoffs. Ooh, Ooh all right, well... Can't wait to see the two new maps. Uh, Boney, do you have anything more to say before uh, we go off? Uh, after three hours of casting with each other, how can you still stand my voice after three hours? Uh, I mean, I just stand up. That's pretty much what I... Look, I have earplugs, right? And they just modulate your voice into a level that I can... Ex <laughs> no, no. Obviously, I enjoy casting with you as always. But no, it's... Um... It's been a great day of racing. And obviously, with the closing of the swiss rounds right now and, and seeing who gets into playoffs and who picks up the number one right number two number three um with the prize money i i had a tremendous time tremendous day i didn't even realize it was three hours it didn't even feel like three hours to me uh we just flew through and i hope it was the same for everyone uh watching today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you had a tremendous time it'll be another two weeks unfortunately until uh we are back with uh, more btl but yeah, yeah some you... things before i want to yeah. mention is that next week on this channel we'll be seeing the asian oceania trackmania championship Ooh. that registrations also have open it will be also broadcasting on this channel it'll be early morning for europe so there's going to be something to watch in the morning uh, and uh, yeah the <laughs> btl playoffs will be in two weeks and for both uh. scene especially the beginner players um, I can mention that there will be beginner tournaments starting week after playoffs. There will be the first beginner tournament where uh, the players who are like at the top of the BTL or top of the scenes won't be able to play. So beginners will have like their own dedicated tournament as well as entire new Baltic competitive system is coming. And so well, that's definitely to something to tune in. Yes, I do on. agree. Thank you for those updates.
uh, SRK. Thank you for uh, helping us out here. Obviously, making everything here possible. Uh, obviously, you're also working on TSTC and TSCC in the background. Uh, we might see those with the summer campaign uh, very, very shortly once uh, BTL and uh, the uh, Oceanic League, uh, Asia Oceanic League ends. Uh, by the way, when he says early morning, it's so early in the morning that it's midnight for me when, <laughs> when those games are going to be played. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be casting those. I'm going to be way, way, way b in, in bed. Like, I'm going to be in La La Land. So, Aboni, I don't know if you're going to be the one casting that. But if you do, enjoy it because uh, a lot of upcoming players in the Asian uh, Pacific region are are really 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 strong. Yeah, I mean we uh, again I'm I'm gonna call him Meta, Meta Pigeon. <laughs> I've been watching Critical Role. Yeah, there and... is one Taiwanese guy yeah. that I'm very looking forward to. That's the one I'm curious about exactly. That was one yeah. I was just about to mention. Very curious to see what type of uh, yeah talent will come out of it, especially as you say that Taiwanese player who uh, just crushes records left, right, and center, uh, but not really known. Uh, yeah, haven't had he have, he and some Australians hadn't usually had the time to put themselves on the map due to scheduling how it's usually with the events. Yeah, and a lot of players basically can't play if the event is happening after 3 p.m. CST, and so that's a great platform from them to finally put themselves and in some event environment. Yeah. yeah. I... Anyways, BTL. In two weeks we'll have the playoffs, and uh, next week we'll have the Asian Ocean Trackman Championship. And during next week, there might be something most likely announced as well. So Ooh, that as well, I like, can hint on a bit. I mean, that that means like that sounds to me. People should one join the Discord, two follow the Twitter, and if you haven't already, follow the Twitch channel. What are you doing? Like, what, what's going on? You gotta check it out. So do those three things, and you will be up to date on all the new things coming in. I mean, I'm I'm looking forward to the announcement already myself. Should just be all good news. In my, uh, if, if, if I can imagine what's coming, <laughs> I got it. You got to dream big, right? That's that's what uh, what matters at the end of the day. Uh, but no, that's all for me. If uh, Quantum, you want to close us out, then I'm uh, wishing you all a very pleasant day. All right. Well, thank you, Boney, for leaving it off to me, and I will leave it off to everyone here to have a wonderful, wonderful rest of their day. My name's Quantum Deathcat. I was here with Boney and SRK, obviously, doing all the work in the background. Thank you, Boney, for streaming. And uh, thank you, everyone, for watching. We'll see you all next weekend. Have a good one.